The following announcement has been paid for by the Lorne World Order. Shawty wanna fuck. Shawty likes to rough and she's got a big oily butt. A big round wet McMuffin Shawty's got sexual techniques And a big round oily butt Goosebumps on her booty cheeks I wanna bust a nut She's looking good, she's got a lot of class Big hoop earrings and a big round ass I crack a stupid joke but it still makes her giggle I'm one step closer to seeing that booty jiggle Seeing that booty bounce up and down and around Vigorously shaking and making that clapping sound She's shaking that booty and dripping with sweat Coconut booty oil makes her big butt wet She's super bad so I'm looking for some trouble Booty looking like a big round wet bubble Baby got back Baby got a big round but I want a snack Baby got oil dripping down her booty crack I'm hungry for that booty baby give me a snack I pour a cold glass of water on her big round butt And makes her get the goosebumps so I can bust a nut Shawty wanna fuck Shawty likes to rough and She's got a big oily butt A big round wet McMuffin Shawty's got sexual techniques And a big round oily butt Goosebumps on her booty cheeks I wanna bust the nut The preceding announcement was paid for by the Lord World Order. Guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for joining me with Sloth Cat, Reborn, and and Blue Blue Slash Black Boy for a for a new Lorne call. Uh, but before we set that up, Sloth Cat, I'm gonna set the timer for 90 seconds. Can you say can you say hi to everyone starting with uh with Tommy M the and then, of course, the I guess the Blue Boy Cartel is that a thing now? It's been a thing. Okay, we're the, out the, here. The Blue Boy Cartel. Uh, so I'll set. I'll, all right, Alexa. Alexa, set a timer for ninety seconds. All right, let's do it. Shots out to the Blue Boy Cartel, Tommy L. <laughs> voice, K. Wright. Janine, Pussy Destroyer, Mike Scott, DJ McNerd at Laura Lisa, JP's friend Kurt, Mike, oh, my Octopussy, uh, DSP, Historical Society, Dr. Cunt, Outdoor Loser, one of those weirdos, Angel, John Call him Ryan. Angel. Call him Angel. Excuse me, I only have 90 seconds. Lauren Anderson, Carl Weathering, The Duchess of Cornville, Silver Turtle Lady, Polynomial Purebred, Hey Boo, Flaps and Clits, Kim is 100% a bully, The Duchess of Cornville, Alice and Marie Armstrong, Mr. Furley, Doomsday 77, San Chandra, um, you know, that, that word, just skip, that, just, skip, just skip that, um, uh, Ryan Green, Justin McRazors, Tiffany, uh, oh, right. Time That's Machine, Alexa Tony off. Robot. They, like, well, I think they've, I, they've gone from questions to just one long run-on name. Dude, it gets worse. Man, I mean, we're gonna... I, I've I've been watching Lance Storm, so I'm getting good on the mic. I think people stop showing up for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I can't remember the Lance Storm uh, intro anymore. It's, it's something like that, though. 
something like that. I noticed that your Alexa didn't go off and you just told it to go off. That was pretty I did, Yeah, I was done. I was, I was, I was, I was done. It was like it was like one long ass name, but it was bad. People aren't gonna show up because they don't want to be in that roll call, and I, I don't blame them. Uh so Blue Boy, can you set up this call before we get into this one? Um, yeah, so it starts off with Jamie, Casey, and Lauren, the usual. He's complaining about Rod. I think the night before this, he had he had broken up with them, or he said, like, he needed time to think. And um, so it takes off from there. And then towards the end, he he gets into the uh, the brother loving story, and it's pretty romantic. Wow. So this is so this is him actually telling the story. I really wish I wasn't here for this. <laughs> Ooh, it gets, yeah, it's it's not going to be funny towards the end. Did you not know this was going on? Uh, no, you knew this was going on. Here, uh, right? After I committed, yes, I knew what was going nice. on. Nice. <laughs> this is why you should. This is why you should always say no to everything, like you've been doing. Yeah, I know, right? Just... That's how you fucked up. Uh, oh, and real quick, but guys, we did make it happen. Um, Chris Hansen and I are going to be in Cool Cat versus Dirty Dog: The Virus War. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> We're going to be in this movie featuring this dog that looks like a, an orangutan and a lieutenant. Curl nails and the Harrier jet, the world's only civilian owned Harrier jet. That's a big deal. It's on the box. This is like a busy, this is a busy <laughs> it's like, like, promo. For it's this. On, I don't know where to look. The jet is on here three times. <laughs> Dirty Dog looks kind of weird. I, I thought Dirty Dog was an orangutan. I thought it was a, a monkey, uh, but he actually raps. And so I, uh, I will be playing a reporter. Chris will be playing a reporter. And I. Obviously, I'm going to have to petition for some sort of Academy Award recognition for the role. I've seen, dude, the script is amazing. I so, mean, I don't know. Is that like How a, could it not be? What was that, Slothka? Is that like a, uh, like a accomplishment to have the only civilian owned? <laughs> I, I mean, I, like, it is. It's a look, dude. It's on here three times. It's, it's on here three fucking times. What do you tell me? And the little coronavirus. It's not late at all. It's not late at all to be making a coronavirus. All the fonts are different. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. All right. Let's let's uh, let's start this call. Hello? Hey. You done doing your thinking? Yeah, I'm done doing my thinking. You sleeping? I I think, no, I'm... I'm I'm just laying there watching Three's Company. <laughs> or, uh, I don't want to leave you with Jamie. Isn't, is she there? Is she here too, Jamie? Is you here? Yeah. He's here. No, I don't want to leave you with Jamie. But I want Jamie to know I'm not going to be treated like an asshole. She, know, she knows I'm not going to put up with, with being treated like that. Really? Because haven't you been putting up with it for like two years? I've been putting up. I, I can barely hear her. You act like uh, an asshole. Well, I act like an asshole when I need to, Jamie. <clears throat> and you know that. No. Yeah, I do. Who do you think he needs to act this way the majority of the time? No, no grown man needs to act like a baby. I'm not acting like a baby. Mm-hmm. And I don't act like <clears throat> this all the time. When you when you mention Rod, and, that, and that's what I feel like all I hear is Rod. You mentioned Rod. Shit about Rod. Well, Jamie, the other night you had to mention it time after time after time. But I didn't want to hear it. I, I didn't want to hear anything about it. I asked. I don't want to know any. Is he referring to the cheese plate night? Yeah, because this is on one thirteen. I think that call was on reborn. When was that? Because I think he we stopped talking for a few days because he was he's pretty upset. Mm. The call you played last week, or we played on Sunday. I guess I don't know. It all bleeds together. Mm -hmm. I have to listen to calls to figure out what I'm playing next week. So I don't know. (laughs) I think it's the tenth. Okay, so this yeah. is so this is and and Jamie wasn't the one bringing up Rod. It was it was Casey <laughs> and Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Just because he got talked about a whole bunch doesn't mean that Jamie was the was the problem there. 
give it because she met him. She met him on the internet when her and I were together. Yeah, you've said that like six hundred times. What's the significance yeah. of that? Why does it matter what it is from the internet? It doesn't. So, so well, it pissed me off. It shouldn't. Be. Well, what's the difference if she had met him at like a bar versus the internet? Like, why do you always have to include on, that back? Because she went online looking for him. Okay. That's why it pisses me off. That's why I mentioned the internet. But before that, she had always called me her virgin. Oh. And I, <laughs> See, she just can't stop the name calling stupid bullshit. <laughs> that, that pissed me off when she, when she did that because she called me her virgin. That was the thing between me and her. Then she went online. Looking he flipped that as like a sweet thing. Well, I a yeah, I don't. I well, for it's like <clears throat> what I said during the uh, the Tiffany call when she said, "You're my bitch. You're my bitch, bitch." She said, "I'm your bitch." Yeah, but at least I'm. He's it's possession. You're my bitch. You're my slut. You're my whore. Like Lorne, Lorne would enjoy that because it, at least you're there. You're my idiot. He just wants yeah. some woman who's gonna take ownership. And if it's it, he, a mommy, he can fuck. So if it's a woman who's gonna talk down him and tell him, Lorne, get out there. You need to, you need to stop smoking and tell him to stop trying to buy new trucks to switch transmissions and shit. And he could put his limp penis inside of her every now and then. He'd be in fucking heaven. Lothcat, do you have something you wanted to add? Um, yes. Um, ditto what you just said. Nice. <laughs> that's, that's, that. that's how it's done, blue boy. <laughs> that's how, that's how you be a good, you know, cold whole sidekick person, right? blue boy. Maybe you can, you can learn a thing or two here. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. You were looking for him, period. And you, and you did it while we were together. Mm-hmm. Then you invited him there. And okay, so that whole bar thing was pointless when you said it. Yeah, whole bar thing is pointless. Jesus. Jamie, when you went to the hotel room to meet Rob... Then why did you say it was different? Stuck on that. <laughs> it, it was different, Jimmy, because me and you were together, and you didn't have to go online looking for a guy. How many times are they going to have this conversation? For a friend. I mean, he's shown that he can just have the same conversation over and over again. Because this has been like a week now of calls where he's just he won't shut up about how she met Rod on the internet. Why did that? Why did that matter? Because she went oh, looking for him. She went looking attention? for a virgin penis. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Oh, guys, we got some we got some donations here. Oh, hell yeah. We, we got one from uh, Hum Along If You Can't Sing Along. Oh, Slothy, why don't you read this one? Lord did nothing wrong. Phil Burnell. Thank you so much, uh, Hum Along If You Can't Sing Along. And then DSP Historical Society. All these ladies nagging Blue Boy. Do they want to jump his bones? I know Reese slash Hillborn is usually the ladies' man. Um, everyone knows that Blue Boy is a hand model. like a, So that's why the women, mm-hmm. that's why you're seeing a lot of the nagging. They just want yeah. to feel those magic fingers. And yes, Reese slash Hillborn is, in fact, uh, a lady killer. Wink, wink, if you know what I mean. Don't look in my trunk. <laughs> no, don't look in there. Uh, Hanson doesn't definitely want Hillborn to go directly have a seat on a plane to prison. On a plane to jail. <laughs> Wait, so I, I want to know, <laughs> were there any, were there ever any of these calls that were pleasant for Lorne? Were there any, were these calls that were just fun for him? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, seems... As far as thruple stuff? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Well, there was times where, like, the girls would start having, like, phone sex with each other, kind of, and he would, like, listen all happy and giddy with it. That was bad. But it was, like, the girls yeah. were making fun of him. They talked the way he would, you know? So once they, once he found out, because he did find out that it was 
I mean, not he doesn't know who you two are, but he did find out that these were two men playing these roles, correct, at one point? Yeah, Jamie got burned first, I think. What did he say when he found out, like, what was his reaction when he found out that not only was he being catfished, but it was a, a male doing it? I don't think he... He mentioned... Like, so... You, you yeah, can say what ahead. he said about Jamie to, to Casey after... I like, don't remember. Well. Nice. And he was like, oh, you know, convincing girl. And there you go. Oh, yeah, he spun it like, well, that makes Will gay. Because he's okay. good at pretending <laughs> to be a woman. Like, okay, but you fell in love with him. He's, he's not good at pretending to be a woman at all. <laughs> yeah, right. And Casey doesn't, no. Casey doesn't act like a woman, like, at all. At, like, at all. Well, apparently, no. real convincing. I don't How think was he convincing? out. He was a robot. Girl with a robot male voice. Like, well, I'm not really sure. Uh, well, just... Yeah, that's, that's funny. It's like he acts like a girl, and it's like, but he he uses the male's voice the entire time. Yeah, and didn't say he. How does he act like a girl? I don't yeah, understand. just said words. They were just words. Not usually not nice words. But you had always mentioned finding a virgin. Mm-hmm. No, you did too. You used to call me your virgin. Because you're a virgin? I didn't say I was looking for yeah, one, you idiot. I said I wanted one. Yeah, you wanted one. What's the difference? You wanted one, so you couldn't help but go online and look. Yep. D- did he just admit he that he was a virgin right there? Well, n- no, he was not a virgin, but she that was her nickname for him. His, her virgin, so may, then she got a, it became normalized in her head, then she went seeking out a real virgin, not him. He was slamming ass every other night, if you remember, having one night stands over and over again with the same woman, because those are one night stands, repeated. Is that the okay. same one who, like, son was in the other room or something? No, that woman was just a one night, like just a one night fling. He banged her while the son was watching season one of Three's Company in the living room. Yeah, that was a one time one night stand. Yeah, not a multiple time one night stand. He figured out sloth cat. Jesus. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm new to all that you know, <laughs> type of stuff. Uh, thank you for educating me, Daddy West. One and you couldn't help but go online and look. She couldn't wait. Did you look for an underage girl? Oh. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Hillboard. What was that all about? Sorry, I stepped away. Just asked me a question. Nice, thanks. Oh uh, yeah, that <clears throat> line about were you looking for an underage girl? What was that all about? Oh, you know, it's just like a topic you bring up. Would you have those loaded, ready to go, or do, would they just come? Really, have, was there ever any editing in between how long it would take for you to reply? No. So it was all, re- you just had to be real fast. Yeah. I mean, I know typing takes forever with Jamie, but like for the most part, I mean, most of the audio here is real time. I mean, there oh. was a point where I was taking out all the silence, but uh, it took a long time. So, well, it's like- only when Jamie says a lot when she types like, um, a novel, like a, yeah, that's a when it's like you're sitting there for like ten seconds. I like when she takes. I like when she takes a long time to reply and yeah. then just says no, <laughs> and then he's like, yeah. "You're fucking kidding me!" God damn it, Jamie! <laughs> I have no idea why you would you say that. Really. Don't do that, Jamie. I'll explain why I said it. You went online and looked. And did you have to go online and look? Because you already had a boyfriend. For a friend? A dick friend. You just said for a virgin, Jamie. I didn't. Can you respect that I don't like him or anything about him? <laughs> what well, the one saying I Yeah, I am saying it because you did. 
No, I do that. Can you respect that I don't like him or anything about him? Can you respect that? I don't like anything about him. Uh, You're dating him right now. I don't like anything about him. He's a wonderful man. I don't like anything about him. He's a wonderful man. Because of the fact that he came into mine and Jamie and Jamie's relationship, and Jamie invited him in. So, he's a wonderful wouldn't you be mad at Jamie and not at at, at Rod? Rod's not a part of that relationship. If she invited him in and was going to let him and was going to do things with him, why would he be mad at Rod? Rod doesn't know him or owe anything to him. Because it's never the point. girl's fault. It's always the guy's fault. For letting his dick get hard for her. Yeah. And like, guys... yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, please. I was going to say, like, every time, there, there's multiple times where, like, he'll go, I, I trust you, Jamie. I trust you. But I don't trust you guys together. So you don't trust her. <laughs> He said it went to Ramon and the doctor as well, you know? Like, I don't trust him. What does that mean? Yeah. And, and like, she won't, you know, he'll put the moves, he'll start blowing on her elbow or some shit and get all hot and bothered, and then she won't be able to stop her fucking legs from spreading. That's and it right. won't be her fault because, dude, he touched her elbow and her knee? Are you kidding me? The back of the knee? Dude knew what he was doing. The full man. Did you know, Jamie, that I called Will one more time? Before to try to stop you from going to the hotel, Ross Thomas, to meet him. <laughs> but you was you were wait. so anxious to go, you had already left. Wait, Why oh. did you have anxiety? Were you nervous? Hold on, wait. I'm sorry, what and is- I know I keep pausing it, but so when when Jamie Amy was supposedly going to meet Rod at the hotel for him to no longer be a virgin, mm-hmm. Rod, Lauren was trying to get a hold of Will so that. She could be stopped. Yeah, like, yes. like, like a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> what? This man was. It was a '90s rom com, and he's running in the back of the wedding and trying to make them stop right before they say "I do." Yeah, he's like, like a, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, sorry. Go he's on. like Wayne and Wayne's World. Uh, Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra. Stop. He was trying to stop her. He was trying to stop her. Dude, maybe he would have admitted this whole time you've been looking for a virgin. I'm ready to admit I'm your virgin. That was the dream. That's <laughs> <laughs> <The whole laughs> what trying to do. <laughs> but he didn't fully come out could, his mouth. He couldn't fully come out and say it. So he tried to stop, and, and he he obviously was will unable to get a hold of a. a oh, of course, she already laughed. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, she literally yeah. just yes, walked missed. out the door. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> she was going to hang out, and I told her, go, go, get out of here. Yeah, I think, like, I think he was, um, he eventually caved and was like, yeah, okay, you can go do the movie with Rod and you make money. And then, like, she goes, okay, and then hangs up immediately. And then, you know, <laughs> five minutes later, he calls back to stop her. No, she left already. Sorry, dude. Oh, I can't wait. So that's obviously that that will be a call that will come out at some point. At some point, yeah. I don't know when, but. No, I do know uh, Sunday's call is pretty damn good. Well, it, what is it? Uh, <clears throat> it's about Donkey I don't even Kong. know. Oh, I remember. What, is, what did you say? Because Blue Boy talked over you. It's about Donkey Kong? It's about Donkey Kong? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I actually have a I think I have a preview of it right here. In response to Julia's aggressive and non-compliant actions, a taser was deployed, causing her to immediately collapse. Let me go! What are you doing? Is that it? Was that it? That's pretty damn close. All right, let's keep going. Her being nervous to meet Rod have to do with anything or having anxiety. I didn't say anything about anything about anxiety or nervous. But she did. Said she was anxious. I wasn't nervous. This intelligence man doesn't know the definitions of words he says. Oh, are you using the word wrong? She was uh, excited to meet him. Oh, okay. I thought you said anxious. 
I did. I probably did. So I used that <laughs> word in that type of way. And I just, oh, yeah, you used the word attention. incorrectly? I don't, That's what it, <laughs> I don't pay attention to it. English. Right, who needs best education? Oh, so much bullying. That's a smart ass remark constantly. Bully comment. <laughs> you threaten to leave constantly. No, that I don't call anxious. names constantly. I don't call names constantly. Yeah, he's on the name caller. What's that? worse, being called a name or being threatened that you're gonna leave every time you throw a little bitch at? You say you love us, and then if anything happens, and you accuse us of being fake, and now you're going to leave. Well, look what she does. Look how she fucking treats me. She didn't you use to treat me like... Why don't you she get didn't... off that high horse of yours, buddy? Jake, you call me buddy and shit? How fucking romantic <laughs> is that? <laughs> how romantic is that? <laughs> Buddy, oh, that's not an inside. What is? <laughs> but it's not buddy. romantic. That's not how romantic is that? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you called children and animals, buddy. <laughs> not bad words. No, no, but asshole is, and, and uh, all the other stupid, and all that shit. How romantic is that? Just focused on the name, not the point. Buddy. Well, in her defense, you did call her a bitch yesterday. Oh, well. She was being a bitch. That weren't yesterday. That was, what, two days ago? Yeah, so. The day before. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> 48 hours. And fake two days before. I don't want to leave you two. You're I don't. I want this to work. But I don't want to be treated like an asshole constantly. Then stop being an but asshole constantly. I, I don't want fucking rod yeah, around her. A picture. She never did with me. I, want, I don't want her being around rod. But she wants to be around rod. I don't believe she that's her in the photos. She doesn't. She doesn't care about how you and I feel about her being around rod. She doesn't want to sacrifice not being around Rod to make our relationship better. Well, I'm willing to work with her on that. She does, I'm not going to force her to oh, get God rid of it. someone. I want her to set boundaries, but I'm not going to say you can't be around Rod. Oh, see, he thought he thought that you two had had Jamie outnumbered, and in this democratic thruple. You were gonna overrule her, and she would have to get rid of Rod. Yeah, but you went the other way. Casey starts warming up to Rod. Oh, why? Why? Why, Casey? <laughs> he's, why? He's handsome. Casey, what are you doing? Um, she doesn't say bound boundaries very good, though. Here's the deal, Jessica Beale. Rod isn't going anywhere. The I just <laughs> Jamie, why didn't you tell Rod that you have a boyfriend and that it's me? <laughs> you under contract with him till April? What does that mean? That's the weirdest way of saying that. <laughs> he does word that. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> you have a boyfriend and it's me. Here's the deal, Jessica Beale. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that going on with the robot. No, 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 no. You can answer the question. Sassy. What do you mean you're under contract? For movies, babe. Uh, movies. Yeah. So, being under contract with them until April. Being under contract until April doesn't mean that you have to go out to bars with them and hanging out with them and shit. Holy fuck. Well, look what he does, Jamie. He obviously doesn't respect that you're in a relationship. What did he do? You have a boyfriend, man. Getting underneath you and pointing at your tits. Oh, Getting under... What was man. that, Reborn? Because I don't remember what that well, was. Are you fucking right, you say somebody else's tits is... He said that Rod got underneath her and pointed at her tits. Underneath her and pointed... I honestly don't remember that one. 
He's just making shit up. He's just making shit hey, up. One of the knee tips. Right. One of the tits. That's the back you dreamed about. Ronald's just packing him around. About. Then all of a sudden you're in a fucking parade just marching around. Warren, that was a dream. Oh, but you still fucking did it. You, you fucking did it. Did it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't do- know what that is. Maybe they were at the bar or something. I don't know. There, there's weird arguments about Rod. Like, um, there's a time she hung out with him at a bar with like 20 people. And the whole time he was just like, well, who stood, who sat beside you? Who stood beside you? Oh, that's what he asked. Is, didn't he ask Kayla the same thing? Yeah, something like that. Didn't he ask Kayla if Derek was beside her when they were at like whatever little get together? Yeah. And she said Derek was putting her arm around him. He's like, I don't like him near you. And he goes, if he would have yeah. put his arm around you, I would have been completely pissed off. <laughs> you know? Oh, Flothcat, Dan Dan, he's my man, made a donation and said, when is your next animation, Flothcat? Actually, it's tomorrow, and it's about Dan. Oh, I think that was more of a, a joke, though. Get it? Because like, no one really cares. Right. Care. I can't wait to see T-Tap Gaming review it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I just heard about it. I I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, so I um scathing I so, review. I hope someone has that review because I would really like to to hear it. I wish What's I could it? put it on a DVD as like a director's. <laughs> the director's he's, he's not a he's not a director, but you know the, well, he's obviously he's a producer. Um, <laughs> the man produces, but uh, we got to keep it moving because Hillborn has some shit he's got to do. No, that is a, it's not in a relationship. Evil. What? 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 Fuck off. <laughs> so what is that about? <laughs> what is it about? What? That wasn't very romantic. Why did you tell Rod that you have a boyfriend and that it's me? <laughs> boyfriend He's is still that asking me? this question from the last, <laughs> for the two days ago, I guess. I need to think. You such. Lauren loves thinking. Why didn't you tell Rod that you had a boyfriend and that it's me? I don't think he can think. It's all impulse and cobwebs up there, Casey. Well, Jamie, why did you not tell Rod that you have a boyfriend and that it's me? Yo, I need to load that clip up again. Why are you dancing with those guys? Because that's what Bobby Hill. Yeah, (laughs) who were those guys? He even (laughs) he even wore the Bobby Hill outfit when he went to pick up Kayla. You can't tell me that that's not (laughs) some weird that's not some weird multiverse future where Bobby Hill grew up to show up at the tea cap house. His dad will be so Bobby. No, (laughs) I have a question, Blue Boy. Yeah, Uh, Blue Boy. Why don't you tell Wes you have a co-host and it's me? (laughs) <laughs> why won't you tell that. him you had enough time to tell him <laughs> I'm not going to answer that because Jamie never answers Warren so I'm not going to answer that question <laughs> you, had sure. enough sure. Time. you had enough time I love that every time he kept coming in Lord would be like S- tell him now <laughs> tell him now this is your chance tell him now, tell tell him now. now. You got, hey, tell him now that he's there <laughs> you had you enough, enough time, time. <laughs> you had plenty of time I counted there were 11 seconds. You're wording that very weird. <laughs> you can just say, why didn't you throw Rod on your boyfriend? Thank you, you Dan. Say, Dan why didn't you have a boyfriend and it's me? Sounds, sounds weird. No, he has to say it like an 87. Oh. What's that mean? Oh. Because I graduated 87th out of 87 people in my class. They didn't like school. Seems like school didn't like you. Well, school didn't like it. Well, actually, the school likes me all right. I just didn't like school. Well. Jamie seems to think she's going to stab me with that all done. I could tell was you good at school. Nope, I sucked at it. Well, I mean, I could have guessed that if you do have a, a very, like, not good grasp on the English language. <laughs> 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 
when we didn't have to go. Jamie, why didn't you tell Rod that I'm your boyfriend? <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Ignore, ignore everything they're saying about you being a dumbass and unable to speak and just rephrase no, your question yeah. properly. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, okay. Why didn't you? <laughs> it was she wasn't not answering because she didn't like the the usage of language. And she just doesn't want to answer you. He's asked yeah. so many times, and she had a lot of times to tell him. Like he said, there were a lot of times to tell him. When he was there, and she didn't want to tell him, Lauren, put two and two together. She didn't want to say it. That's why. Staying inside Saturday. 25 degrees. Oh, the weather toss. It's going to storm on Sunday. It's going to storm here on Monday. Oh, yeah. I think Casey asked Lauren, if they had weekend for him. He rode to school on. Big. It wasn't like maybe yeah, half the size of a regular bus. <laughs> so, okay. No, uh, nice try, but I didn't ride the short bus. I'm far from stupid, you two. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> he was the, the 87 credit, smartest though. person out of 87. Like what? Okay, Jamie, I have a question for you. You're far from you stupid. I were anxious to see you. I have a question for you, Jamie. What? If Will and Maggie Doe do not want to move to California, oh. are you still going to move to California with me and Casey? Yeah, let's talk serious. Casey is all I care about now. Oh. Aww. Wait. See? What about Lauren? Lauren? Casey is all she cares about now. I mean, she doesn't give a shit about me. <laughs> That's why she asked. Actually- what? Why is he talking to the audience like we don't know what's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> breaking the fucking fourth wall here. Who is he talking to? <laughs> we don't need an exposition dump. We we get what's going on here. Yeah. Did J.J. Abrams write this? I don't need that line. No, you see you see here, Casey, when she only said your name, that means she doesn't care about me. <laughs> oh, you are smarter. <laughs> You know why I asked that, Jamie? Well, wait a minute. I don't know. don't care. What? Uh, what lecture are we running today, that grandpa? <laughs> anyway, the, the reason I asked that, Jamie, is because you and I were engaged and you were supposed to move up here. Mm-hmm. But you didn't want to sacrifice being away from Will and Maggie Joe. You want to hear a funny joke? Yes, babe. Oh, I love this. Lauren is so stupid. He got hit by a parked car. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks, Casey. That helps. (laughs) I'm really (laughs) trying to figure out, Jamie. That helps. How, for two years, you and I were going up. And then supposedly over two months, you meet. Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) Easy. <laughs> Easy, yeah. Right. Yeah, you suck. D- so, d- <laughs> this part, does he not believe yeah, okay. her when she says she doesn't love him? No. No, there's no way. She could have gotten over this, you know, amazing man. How are we so in love for two years? How come you didn't tell Rod you had a boyfriend and that it was me? <laughs> You saying that weird? How come you didn't tell him he had a play? <laughs> you had enough time. <laughs> tell him now. Now, okay, and now, shoot, shoot him. That's a good one. I got a good one. Okay, babe. Casey, stop. What's the difference between Lauren and a Walmart employee? Lost. A Walmart employee has a job. <laughs> I don't really know of anybody that likes to put down. I don't really know of anybody that likes to be put down. 
I don't know anyone who likes to be called fake and a fucking bitch for doing nothing wrong. Well, do you? You got a point, Jamie. That's my bad. Yeah. See? And I'm sorry, so I'll pay attention to what. That won't shut happen. Yeah. He'll pay attention no, to it. Yeah. it. At least I yeah, what does that even mean? <laughs> it means he'll, 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 <laughs> the next time he wants to call her a fucking cunt bitch, he'll think about it first. Then he'll say it, but hold on. And then he'll apologize immediately after. No, that makes sense. So he'll be paying attention to when he says, instead of just saying it and throwing it out there, she told him not to do it, but he's not going to do it. But when he does it, he's going to be like, yo, that was, I was drunk. I was upset. You made me, he'll, t- he'll give her a reason. There will be a reason, not an excuse, a reason. Okay. There's a difference. Or something. You never okay. know when you're wrong about something. Empty mm-hmm. apologies. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. He denies and denies until you present the truth that he can't dance around, then apologizes and acts like he did it on his own and it means something, but it doesn't. That's true. Casey. Because it's horse shit. Well, you all know what else is horse shit, Jamie? That you can't move away from Will to people with guys that you'd love to want to marry. <laughs> this the, the classic <laughs> argument. <laughs> so back to this. <laughs> Well, no, she just said she'd move to California without them if they didn't want to go. Oh, okay. She just well. said that. Yeah, but I was still mad. She'd move up here and be with me, too. Well, yeah, you also never quit house. smoking. You never quit smoking. She never came up. Yeah, you have to quit smoking first, idiot. Oh, my God. That was one of the arguments that like, made me the most, like, actually mad. Was when he'd be like, Jamie, you gotta come up here. And, and Jamie, from the beginning, the rule was, you need to quit smoking because, in storyline, she can't be around that stuff because it's bad for her already damaged lungs. Yeah. It was that and have a job, and he couldn't do either of those things, so... <laughs> what, what, if, what if he would have stopped smoking? What would have been the excuse then? We uh, knew he we, wasn't going to. So I we think gonna... <laughs> I think Hillboard was going to miss Doubtfire and move it and move out there. Yeah, I, I guess he would have had him gone. <laughs> a <Hello>. robot mask. <laughs> robot mask. <laughs> <laughs> because of the surgery, you have to be in a robot mask, and you can't be physically touched for three years. <laughs> Circus also, is still trying to fire up properly. Can't... Also, I have a dick now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, it's fine. I fucking love you. I don't care if you fucking got a a COVID dick. Stop calling me bro. Not your bro. <laughs> she, that's my girlfriend. She's got a COVID dick now. Sure <laughs> you did. Alright. Spark, spark. Spark, spark. Is that what she said? How's the job hunting going now? I put in for advanced auto parts today. What's that? I'm gonna... To an auto parts store. Now one whole job. Oh, I had other things I had to do today too. You're gonna work at a store? No, if, if I need to. Now I'm lost. just trying to find something. Tomorrow I'm gonna I'm going down to help. What else did like you have to that. do today? <laughs> oh, I had to go to Waterville. I came back and because I had a mom had an uh, eye appointment, eye doctor appointment, so I had to go down with her. And I had to go over Uncle Clayton's and help Uncle Clayton with a couple of things. I knew Uncle Clayton was going to come up. That took two hours for that. The water was like a half hour away. Now day's almost over. <laughs> Jamie, I've been up since one thirty this morning. Why do you get up so early? It's not that I wanted to be up. I mean, I gotta make it worse. I mean, he had even more time. <laughs> well, but what, what, what's he gonna do? He can't go online and apply for jobs. So this is like this is a time when 
being up at one thirty in the morning is not beneficial to Lauren. That that's not like he's got that that get up and go hustle. He's just up and can't do anything other than watch Three's Company DVDs. Yeah, and the news. Yeah, dude, that would that would drive that. This is hell. Like this is fucking hell. Like now he can't sleep and he doesn't know why he can't sleep. Bitch, it's stress. You're fifty something years old, trying to get a job anywhere that'll hire you. You're running out of opportunities. You're running out, and and the place is falling apart around you. Like that would scare the shit out of me if I were him. And um, he would go to bed at like eleven thirty, so he's he's on like two and a half hours of sleep. Yeah, dude, and most he doesn't nights. like dude. Stress will do that. You'll wake up, and instead of rolling over and going back to sleep, you're instantly you, you're the first thing that pops in your mind is whatever stress yeah. you went to bed with, and you're up. And so, like, and the, guys, you know, he's drinking coffee all day. But for some reason, he's like, it has no effect on me. It's wheat coffee, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, like, yeah, when so you drink 15 pots of it, bro. His life is, um, his life is, a, is a fucking mess, and, and that's got to be scary for him. And I know people think he's going to live a long life, and I, I think that would be the absolute worst thing for him to live because it's not going to get better. You know, like, it's not going to get like better for him as he gets older. It's going to all come, like, crashing down. At, like, everything's at the same time. Like, he's going to... The trailer's going to collapse. He's going to have a heart attack, like a stroke. His mom's going to die. Like, it's all going to happen, like, within the same week. Like, all in the front yard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> That's fucked up, blue boy. That's fucked up. <laughs> you said I hadn't heard anything from you two. And I was worried. So when did you take mom to water vial? That was around 9.30. Before I took her to Waterville, I was trying to get my water okay, car so out. Did you do for eight hours? Mm. Before, I took, before I took mom to Waterville, I was trying to get my water to thaw because the line was frozen. I still didn't get it. So after I took mom to Waterville, I came back. I helped I'm quite do a couple of things over his... Oh, so so eight hours there. to fill your pipes. It, it took me. Okay, they didn't thaw out until <clears throat> till two thirty this afternoon. They thawed. Thaw. What do you mean? Oh. Thaw. Thaw. You said thaw again. <laughs> thaw. <laughs> My accent. But I had to figure out where they where it was frozen at because mm -hmm. where it comes out of the ground is is next to the outside of the well, no one cares of the trailer. You said that up to your pipes you took not. So you sat there and thawed a pipe for eight hours <laughs> instead of looking for jobs. Why is it hard to understand that I, I had to work on thawing my pipes out? <laughs> oh, I had work a job, man. My job was to thaw those pipes. <laughs> what are you not getting about that, Jamie? I had pipes to thaw, bitch. What is wrong with you? That's an all day thing. <laughs> He's getting so mad. <laughs> you have to stand there and watch those pipes unthaw. He's got a yeah, hair dryer. I've never had <laughs> to do that before. What is? How do you um, how do you thaw a pipe out? I, I really don't know. I picture Lauren with a very long extension cord and a and a blow dryer, and he's just like kneeled down by the pipe and he's thawing it with with the hair dryer. And I don't care if that's not is how. Is that how do you it. do it? I oh, was like, holy listen. shit. I don't care if that's not how you do that shit. That's how Lauren's doing it. Okay. He would do it that way. He'd take like the, what did he use without the glasses that one time? Uh, a welder? I think of the word. Yeah. Yeah. Can you use one of those to heat it I'm up? I'm hiding a blind. I wish he would have. He welder's mask without the glass? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't wearing the glasses and he was complaining about how his eyes hurt for days. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. We got another <laughs> donation of this one from Polynomial Purbred. Oh, I suspect the Venn diagram between him and Stupid is the whole damn Lorne circle surrounded by his fellow stupids. And that's, yeah, that sounds about, that sounds about yeah. right. That's a, a moron. I think we got one more here. Oh, DSP Historical Society. Thank you, Polynomial Purbred. Uh, said, hate to admit it, but I fell in love with, with Jamie, with Robot Jamie too. I think a lot of people are in love with Robot. I think if Robot Jamie had an OnlyFans, There'll be at least like five or six people 
Oh, I'd check it out. Just well, funny you mention it because I got a link to a new. <laughs> we'll make sure Mexican on a bus gets it because that dude is always asking about uh, OnlyFans. So, so oh, please send it to them. Oh, He's saying that you, you said you got up at one thirty. Your mom's appointment was at nine. So for those eight hours, you just thawed your pipes. That was it. No, I didn't work. Uh, I didn't start working at one thirty. How hard is this to answer? When I woke up. That's when I found out the water was frozen. <laughs> oh my gosh! She said, "What did right you do?" Way. From okay, one to nine. What did and he's... you do in the meantime? God. He, he's I thought trying about explain... working. <laughs> but like, really, what could he? What could he have done at between what, one thir- one in the morning when he wakes up, and whenever places start opening, he really can't. There's nothing he can do to apply for any type of job. Like the number one way that people little did he know when he was out there trying to sexualize children how limited he was going to make his career choices in the future. Like everything is online, and this idiot can't do it because even when he was allowed to get back online, all he was worried about was building a community. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to build a community out the way? <laughs> right? Right? Most people would want to hide. Hide forever. This man wanted to come out here. He was still going to, he was going to chase that dream, his dream of fame. He wrote a book. And he was gonna be famous, so he needed. And he tried to sell stuff. like his his songs on eBay, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like he didn't understand that. Okay, people can do that when they get out of prison, but it depends on the crime they have yeah. committed. Yo, like, did you do a cool crime? Yeah. Like, were you catch me if you can? And you were doing all kinds of crazy shit, and one step ahead of the FBI, or did you show up at a house to try to have sex with a child on a TV show with your feet <laughs> up on a reclining massage chair? Which one did you do? Like, he thinks we're, like, a real fan club. Like, I don't want that shit. Who would like, think? <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Who would... If someone... If you were this predator, like, if someone contacted Loverman Genius and said, oh, there's a fan club of people out here who love what you did and we're defending you, I think he would probably tell everyone to fuck off and hang up. You wouldn't right. entertain any of it. You wouldn't... There's no fucking way. No, you're fucking with me. Fuck you. Don't ever bring that up. This man's like... Tell me more. <laughs> like, really? Tell me. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I'm a pretty talented guy. <laughs> I, I, if you would have noticed your text, you, you'd see what time I, I texted you. Yeah, you don't pay attention. Yeah, well, I'm asleep at one in the morning. I'm saying, what did you do during those uh, eight hours? I eight? went outside and I chopped some kid on wood and I chopped a couple Why of other so wood. Well, because oh the lack of sleep has ruined his brain. I chopped some oh, kindling wood, some other wood, and I started the fire. I got the fire going. I made some coffee. How long did that take? I don't know. I didn't hurry to do that shit. You know? Well, what do you like God, to do? The grilling. <laughs> <laughs> These are all things I can do in the span of like forty-five minutes. Yeah, well, when I first wake up, I'm not going to do it. I'm rushed to do it in like forty-five minutes. All right. Then so what, what do you do are you when doing? You first wake up? himself. I sit down at the table and I have a cup of coffee. He's in no he's in no rush to do nothing. And that takes what? Yeah, like why, three hours. Five? Why did it take that long to get to that point? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. Probably twenty minutes, but then I watch the news. News. Normally, I'm up around four o'clock. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I just know it's going to be good. Well, I, Betty I watch the movie? Watch TV. Yeah, three uh, something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, why would you be on the phone for this? Firewood. <laughs> That'd have been long, they're yeah. just every little I thing. I, I know, right? Like if they're, they're teaming up against him. It's, it's, it would be so uncomfortable if you were like his roommate or something. It would be so uncomfortable to listen to this. How is he okay with this? Right. There's nothing fun about this. Because he's gonna have two ladies move that smoke den. You have two ladies who hate you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're like, complaining that's... about every little thing he does. Like, Casey was just complaining, like, why don't you just buy the firewood instead of cutting it up? 
Like, that's not even really something that, like, you complain about if you care. <laughs> Why don't you just buy it? But it's just like, God, dude, just like, money. stop grilling me <laughs> for fucking five minutes, please. And, but, like, Casey was on his side to start the call, and it just slowly, all of a sudden now, even Casey's against them. Yep. Yeah. for free. Especially when I don't have the money to buy it right now. Yeah, damn. Take that. What are you going to do when you run out of trees to chop on your property? <laughs> I'm not getting these trees off my property. What, what happened with Western Express? Getting off Roy's law, Roy's Uncle Clyde's law. Oh, that's nice of you. They already, they already had them down. They cut them down last summer. So they told me to go over and take them. So then what was he cutting? Oh, they were down. He was chopping them. So they cut them down. Oh, gotcha. I'm not a country boy. I don't know these things. Yeah, well, that's why I was throwing six-foot logs while you were throwing six-foot pencils. <laughs> uh, um, that's a good one. So so he's... So he's... His brothers have chopped down tree. Lauren's going to die felling a tree. That I, I predict it. Lauren is going to die trying to chop down a tree for firewood. That's how it'll happen. It'll be in That'd the be pretty funny. It'll be in the Cornville Commoner 2026. I hope local... he steps on a rake and it hits him in the head. <laughs> local predator found dead. <laughs> That's the headline. Um, I got to call Western Express. That's, that sounds like a tag team. I call Western Express. <laughs> the Western Express. The, the, the Can Am connection. Have a job when I already. <laughs> when I move out to California. Western Express. Before I move out to California, I already have to have a job lined up. So, so I'll have a job when I get there. Western Express. That's part of probation stipulations for me, for me to be able to move out there. But they were looking for that would have been great if we can get him to go to California. Yeah, I was very close. <laughs> I had him looking into hotels because he was going to go fly out there and visit her. He gave um, he asked probation, and they gave him like a piece of paper that just like a, a thing to fill out so he can travel to California to go see Casey. I was this close to getting him to go. What happened? Um, I think probation was like I had she, they had to talk to me on the phone. And, and would you um, would you would you been afraid to do it with the? Like, well, I mean, I guess yeah, you're fucking with federal. Federal. I probably would have done point. it still, but <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Hi, this is Casey. I love, I love Lord. I knew at that point it would have been over because there's no way they'd believe that's a real woman. I, I, why, how could they not? And really, can they question you? Like legally, can they? Like, say, are you a real? Yeah, like, I guess they don't. I don't think so. I don't think they could. I think you could just sound just like you do and say your name is. And also, Casey could be a a, a man or a woman's name. It'd be anyone's name. So I think it would have worked. I think you could have been Casey and it would have happened. Would you have gone to the airport to what would you have done if Lauren actually I had plan I had plans to go there and like be on the same flight with him. Like I was <laughs> just gonna record him, like I'm gonna book a, book a seat, I'm gonna fly to Maine and then fly to California with Lauren. Film him the whole time. <laughs> the his, his reaction the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. That was Lord, the ultimate goal. Lord will be short, telling though. everyone in earshot that he was going to visit his girlfriend. Oh, that'd be great. How I'd ask them, like, me? what are you going to California for? <laughs> oh, fuck. That would have been great. Well, maybe next time. Like 130000 a year, I think you said. Who will you Huh? Well, you aren't doing that. Yeah, what do you mean I'm not doing that? A trainer. Well, I might. So, how are you going to afford your move? Money. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Can you elaborate? You're not filling out your book right now. I gotta sell my house when I move, right? 
What money? You need change to feed your addiction. You need change to feed your <laughs> And he's just so used to getting punched in the face now. He's no selling him. He's 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 hulked up right now, yeah. but like the the reverse, he's just taking them. No he's just taking champ over here. <laughs> he's just taking every shot and act. Listen, I'm gonna take whatever abuse you guys give me. Just promise me we're gonna live together and all be in love. I don't care what, what route it takes to get there, but in the end, we're all in California in some sort of nice home, preferably on the beach, uh, not oh. near any. No, go ahead. Reborn. Do you remember reborn the the house he was thinking about buying? Uh, I don't. I did remember this, though. Do you remember him being adamant that he had to sleep in the middle of them? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Well, why? why? He... No, he's got to have them both. Like, he's the most important person, so he has to have both ladies on each side. Yeah. A lady on each side, you know? And I'm pretty sure Jamie's like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be in the middle. <laughs> be in the middle. What was the house? There was like a mansion in California that he was like actually thinking they could afford if they started a um, reality TV show. No, that's right. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 hold on, hold Why on. Why would he, what? Why would he, he was going to, he had an idea to start a reality TV show um, because he's famous and Casey's famous. And he thought why people would want to see that. Forgetting why he's famous. He keeps oh. forgetting why. Like, that's what I'm saying. Just... He doesn't understand that what the Church of Cod is. He thinks, like, legitimately, it's a fan club. Well, yeah, we need to put together the the sizzle reel, animated sizzle reel for that reality show. Could you imagine that reality show? <laughs> we <laughs> met on TV, and it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to prison. Now, all these years later. We're gonna make it work, and then the robot comes in as a throuple. <laughs> All would be perfect. The Lots. new threes, and they would call it the three, the new threes company, or or something along those threes lines. Threes a crowd. Threes, well, threes a crowd was <laughs> the companion series to Threes Company, uh, Hillborn. Okay, it was well, a very poorly received companion series to the show. Oh, threes a crowd because Will's there. <laughs> yes, four's a crowd. Lord, Will's actually the third. Lord's always the odd man out. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, uh, is that also on a call, Blue Boy, where he talks about the reality show? I, I think it is. Like that's mm. crazy that we've never. This is the first that I'm hearing of this. Well, you, you would. Stuff, I know there's so much going on, but that's crazy. You just kind of forget about stuff, and then like something sparks a memory, and you're like, "Do you remember this thing?" Because mm-hmm. I've seen people being like, "Oh, why?" Why'd you sit on this call for so long? It's like I didn't know it existed until now. Plus the you know? st- the stupidity, right? Lauren's <laughs> We're very unorganized. <laughs> well, no, not yeah. Okay, yeah. Lauren's stupidity. <laughs> yeah, God forbid you call something what it is. No. He means his love. The trailer is it's worthless. A trailer house. A trailer house. A trailer house. Trailer's worthless. Uh, Property yes. value, they don't. They, property value, they don't value it as much. Really? Why what not? do they value it as? Like fifty bucks? Lumber, a stack of lumber. They get it valued now like ten thousand. Well, that's who valued it. The the, uh, the town has an appraiser go around every year for taxes. <laughs> so the town sent an appraisal over and said ten k. Yeah. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> my car is worth more than that. Right. And my car's not new. Uh my car's not new, Lord. Uh we got guys, we got a donation from Richard Roberts who said, Did West finally give in and join the LWO? No, um, Richard Roberts. He's a blue boy setting, cartel. We're no, I'm not a I'm not one you of the blue, are. who are the blue boy cartel. We're just setting you up are. an angle. Slothcat and I are gonna turn on them at the uh, pay per view. So it doesn't happen. Doesn't the, uh, your your cartel have like a saying or something? Respect the blue hole. <laughs> That's the new one. That's what I'm going to do for that. Um, then uh, Joey said, "Lauren's property reminds me of Lord of the Rings, where Simon destroys Isengard by chopping all the trees down." Roy's in guard. Yeah, 
That's exactly that's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> uh, thank you, Joey. And then polynomial purbred again said. Uh, so would it be the tobacco flavor of love? Yeah, yeah, that would it would be the tobacco flavor of love. I would love to see Lauren in a reality show with the, with Casey. Yeah, I'd watch that honestly. I, I think a lot of people would. A lot of people. He was, be... he was right. That would be a hit. <laughs> so that wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> But how do you pitch it? You you would only be able to do that online. Like you could do, they would be able to do it online and do it themselves. But like TikTok or some shit, you're not gonna get that on. Like VH1's not touching the the pedophile show. Mm, they might actually. They're not doing too hot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. The land is worth is valued at thirty with the town. Who's gonna buy it though? Is it just Farmville have an influx of like young people moving to town to start families and stuff? Influencers. Yeah, there's actually a lot of out of state buying <laughs> yeah, land to pay now. <laughs> land is, the property has gone up like thirty thousand dollars to what it normally normally was. Yeah, but so it was like zero before because didn't he just though. wait, wait, hold on. He just said his property went up thirty thousand dollars. He just said it was worth thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, because he owes fifteen K on it still. But he said it was valued at thirty thousand dollars. That's what they appraised it at. His land? His said his land was appraised at thirty thousand dollars. Didn't he just say that? Oh, maybe. And then he just said right now, no, the, the land's going up. It was just it went up thirty thousand dollars. So if it went up thirty thousand and it's worth thirty thousand, that means it was worth zero. Is that what he's trying we, to say? Reborn and I, we were just in Cornville, and um, the whole town. I would not like thirty thousand dollars is what I'd pay for the whole place. <laughs> All of it? <laughs> yeah. It's not a parcel of land in that. Just circle table. your finger and go, I'll give you 30000 for all of it. <laughs> yeah, just give me all of that. Uh, uh, I mean, I bought 10 mile yard sale. Um, dot. I, I do have a 10 mile yard sale re- related URL that I'll be putting up. Oh, and also one for uh, for RNS pallets. Yeah, I want to, I want to, yeah, I'm going to put up a website for RNS pallets for anyone who's interested in buying. The slightly used pallets from a from a pedophile. I think they should. Oh, they you're should gonna know. set it up like hey, go to his house. That's great. <laughs> I'm just gonna set up a website for the business. I feel like he has a business. There should be a website to go with the business. I think it's a shame that just because he's a pedophile, no one has thought to build him a company website that explains pallets that are used and also his crimes on Daylight and BC. <laughs> you got to register it too. I don't think he has it registered. I, oh, no, uh, I, I already bought the domain name, but the first one's already was taken already back in 2020. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that. RNS Palace was taken? Yeah, RNS, rspalace.com was bought in July 2020. Oh, huh, all right. Yeah, and it's uh, it's never been, it was never loaded anything. It was purchased with Wix, and it was never developed into a site, so it's just sitting dormant. Been in Gornville. Even up. In northern Maine, even. Because so of the why don't pandemic. you sell it right now, then? Because I'm not moving to California yet. MK isn't going to get you much in Caliber. Oh, I know, Jamie. Believe me, I know. Well, that's just a trail. The land, the land is valued at 30. <laughs> so <I'm laughs> See? I can sell this place for 60 or 70 right now to the right buyer. You can sell what? Bullshit. I doubt it. My property. Who's the right buyer? Whoever wants this area. This is, this is a, there's only one of the lot on this area that would, that would be up for sale. That's a lot. That right. lot what? that has been for sale for years. How far is it from his land? Reborn, isn't it right next door? Yeah, I think I think it's the lot next to him just because he always talks about how he wanted to buy it and like make, you know, I guess a mega trailer across it or something. I don't know. Oh, hold on. So you're trying to tell me that in this small town, no one wants to buy the plot of land next door to the pedophile? It's great. I would buy it. We should we should do like a community we buy it and then once a year on his birthday we throw like a party there the only people who'd have any value for that property would be us no one else would yeah that. just turn to like play lauren calls on through speakers this right outside all day 
Make we a should stage. Offer, offer the town five grand for it. Make a stage. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> make it make the actual church. Make it that. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and re- with real signs leading to the church of God right next door to his property. I think he would love that. But then we can always call him complaints when he's outside naked. Just be watching for it and call him de- indecency. Complaints. Oh yeah, I would he's just stuck. build like a watchtower. That's it. <laughs> the twenty fucking foot watchtower next door. <laughs> Those cocksuckers have a watchtower. Xavier cameras Church around the whole thing. Every all people, well, you have house. to have cameras around <laughs> it because he's a pedophile. <laughs> I mean, there's enough people in this community. We can probably buy that land. No, I don't see why not. I mean, like, think of how much money they were able to was raised for Betty, and this is also a great cause. Buy the land next door to Lord. <laughs> yeah, and we just raise hell there. And then he has to keep coming over to, co- to introduce himself as a registered sex offender. Because <laughs> we'll list someone else new as the owner every month. <laughs> oh, AJ is a great idea. We'll start a daycare there. <laughs> daycare. Oh, shit. That forced him to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, would they? What would they do? Would they tell you you couldn't have the daycare, or would he have to have? Would he have to move? I'm not sure what the rule is on that. You know what? Let's find out. Let's, 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 <laughs> yeah, just to find out. We'll just have to build it and see what happens. Let's build Xavier's happy place. Uh, it's, it's a Xavier's happy place. Yeah, it's a go. We're moving there for no. Because like Scott Wiggins is right next to us. People, uh-huh. people want to be people want to be close to a town where they don't have to go far to go to a town, but they also want to be out in the country. So they're not right in the middle of the Hagen's a shithole, too. What about the... Old stupid people. Was there anything... You didn't see anything decent there? Reborn, what was there? We saw... High, high tide, low tide? tide? There's a bunch of like grass, and then uh, there's a couple barns. There's all... In... Uh, in, in uh, oh, in, in Scout Hagen. Hagen. There's a Walmart. There's a Walmart there. They had, like, a... A tavern looked pretty run down. Yeah, that's yeah. the club. He, the place he buys his uh, ciggies from next door is a jeweler, and I'm I, I'm pretty sure that's where he got the engagement ring for Jamie. And next door to that is the clothing store that he bought those those outfits. <laughs> <laughs> so he got everything done right there. No, no, I, tell me that doesn't Lord getting dressed in those pictures? It just it looks like something out of the Napoleon Dynamite universe. Oh, definitely. I wonder if he returned them. I don't want these. Didn't work out. What's your policy for not being in love? Yeah. <laughs> and then People. he hands them to her, and she's like, "These smell like cigarettes, so they're yours for life." I don't even smoke. I was <laughs> drinking fruit juice. Drink fruit juice. I only smoke a pack and a half a day. Bumpkins. So just because a person is old, they have to be stupid too. No, well, you're stupid. Yes. And old. You realize we're all getting older, right? Well, they are old and stupid. Jamie, you're going to be 26 in a month. <laughs> that's not old. No, I fucking asked the father from old. That's, that's what? Older <laughs> Stop your age. And? Yeah, but who's old right now? Lord. My mom's old. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck your mom, dude. What? Lord is as old as dirt. Wow. Yeah, right. Yeah. Your mama's so stupid. She climbed the glass wall with he was on the other side. OMG Law. OMG Law. Your mama's so stupid. She could trip over a cordless phone. It's <laughs> my favorite bits of all time right here. <laughs> my mom's a special woman. That's the last. <laughs> oh, nice to say about me. Somebody's mother. So stupid. Well, just don't tell her I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. It's not nice to say about somebody's mother. Why would, you two are women. Why would you talk about somebody's mother? Good point. What if being a woman after they Good point. Me? Yeah, why? They can be women and they still think your mom's stupid. Big. They're kind of not, though. <laughs> They're not women, but if they were. <laughs> 
There isn't one. It's not nice it's to talk about woman and you like all moms and yep. think all moms stupid. Yeah. What? Your mom is so stupid she went to the dentist to get a Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> There's a stand-up comedy roast of his mom just sitting there taking it. Can you hear me? Can you hear you? Can you hear me? I'm talking about your mom. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Okay, I can hear you. I can hear you too. Can you hear me? Jamie? Okay, Lauren, I can hear you too. I can hear you beautiful. Aw, <laughs> thank you. Casey. Yes? I was looking at your picture today, and do you know what I said? What? Come on, come on, come on, daredevil. What? I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you ever look at your life? Oh, oh God! Wow! Oh. Africa. Um. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. That was such a blind side, out of nowhere, unnecessary. Had nothing to do. It's like your mama jokes, and then it just turns into, "Hey, guess what?" <laughs> Isn't it weird that you're your age and you've done nothing and have nothing and nobody? <laughs> you've no children. <laughs> nobody loves adult. you. Yeah. Orange property for sale right now. Is that true? Is he moving? Uh, according to Tiffany, he's not really a reliable source on anything. What does Tiffany so. say? That his property's for sale. Oh, maybe he's he's a uh, well. I mean, he could be putting it up for sale. Maybe he thinks he's going to get away from. I'm going to request a tour. Yeah. Oh, fly out. Let's take a tour. I was like, let's, I will fly back out there. Yo, let's talk about let's that. See. I think that's a really. I would. I would love to tour it. I want a An personal home tour, tour from Lorne, a black let's guy. See. If we get, oh god, you'll stand out like a sore thumb in Cornville. What? I made a payment four hundred and forty dollars a month. <laughs> I made a point to count all the black people while I was there. Oh, I want to buy it and then rent it out to Lorne and be like the most hard ass landlord. <laughs> Well, your your Zillow estimated payment is only four hundred and forty a month. That's yeah, not I'll, bad at I'll all. I'm willing to pay more than that for the apartment at Jordan's uh, at Jordan's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, do I will absolutely pay four hundred and forty dollars a month, and I'll charge Lauren two hundred and fifty a month, but he has to keep keep making the place beautiful. <laughs> now, can anyone put up a Zillow listing? Like, could this potentially be a joke? I don't. Possibly. I don't know because uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'd have to look at it. I, I would I like know. to point out that in the Zillow photo they have of his place, it's recent because the tarp is still on his lawn. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Good eye, bud. Yeah, you know, sixty-nine thousand. He said, "He said in this call seventy thousand dollars." Man, he was accurate. Yeah. Well, you, right. it's like, okay, you put it at seventy so that you can get fifty. That's how we play the game, blue boy. Two bedroom, two bath. But how many closets are there? Well, the one, well, one of the one of the closets is actually the bedroom. It's newly which, listed, which leads to outside because hmm, uh, there's is no wall. You is think this he's the... moving to Canada with Preparet? Maybe. Did, can we, anyone no, call? Okay, I got he can't this go to Canada. Spell? Canada won't allow him because he's a felon. Contact agent. All right, yeah, I'm gonna but... after after when we're done with this, I'm gonna contact them. We're gonna see what happens. I wonder if they're working still. I doubt it. Honestly. Does it say need some work? Two bedroom, two bath home looking for a new owner. Needs some work, but priced accordingly. Large bedrooms. Here's the funny thing. Wow. Is, it doesn't matter where he moves, you're gonna know where he's gonna be because it's exactly. has to tell. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> and but no, he won't Canada will not allow him in. There's no fucking way. So he can't be going up there. Yeah, oh I'll no, he up. can't. What if, he was, what if he's moving to California really with Casey Morrow? What would you say then? Well played, Lauren. I guess he wins then. He finally did it. He was, he was, four. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he, and he just sends you one message that says checkmate. And that's it. Yeah. And, he, and I'll be and like, he, you know what? They're <laughs> on you, man. You got me. I just shut my channel down and walk away, you know? <laughs> yeah. Lose it, lose it, lose down. Man, I just can't believe it's listed. I wonder if because he saw that we had gone there anyways, 
and taking pictures of it, and this was his solution, like just to sell it and leave town. But where? <laughs> yeah. I and don't know. With that amount of money, is he is he planning to go like just dig a hole for himself and bury himself with seventy grand? Like, know. what are you gonna do? No one's gonna buy. It's never gonna sell. Of course, there's not. no but way. Like, even this... if it did sell, what is he going to do? What is he gonna do? What's his move? With seventy thousand dollars, I don't know. It's like yeah, he can't go buy a new house with that. <laughs> you will buy Tesla. That's... <laughs> yeah. Well, see, his plan is probably to go and buy some more land and start building a house on that. But the way he thinks, he thinks he can do that with his um seventy thousand. Was it so he's gonna take he's gonna take oh, the seventy thousand and, and his home. He's gonna tow his trailer home. That's I'm not so happy. Can you see the it. photo, Wes? Have you seen the photo on the Zilla? No, I can't I can't see it. Oh, okay. It it's not a flattering photo. Like anyone that sees this is gonna go, I'm I'm right. I mean they have to this has to be a like a, a purchase where you just want the land and you're gonna like this is where the Falcor cartel hangs out at. Like, look at this place. It is a shithole. It is. I mean, you know, seventy thousand. Do you think Lawrence put it up so they'd be like the church god cocks like his mom butt? I don't know, but I feel like. I feel oh, like for four hundred forty dollars, really... it'd be a we. It, it, we kind of have to. I'm gonna offer him ten thousand and just see if he takes it. <laughs> Here's right? twenty you... bucks. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I got a shitload of loyalty points at Burger King. Let's talk. <laughs> Had a good life. Yeah, but do you ever like look at your life compared to like someone else's life who's your same age and like see what they've like accomplished and stuff? And do you kind of like feel bad? I do. I've done that. I've done it a few times over. Because, like, I'd say most people your age, you know, are getting close to retirement. They have, like, adult children. I've analyzed my life quite a bit. Yeah. What do you think? Most people any age wouldn't want to go to jail once, let alone twice. <laughs> Lord, got anything on that one, bud? One got hit with that taser. Hello. <laughs> I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can. I can hear you. I'm okay, I can you hear, hear me. you. Flooring other. Well, hello. Hello, I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. I've analyzed oh, my life a lot to look at the things that I've done wrong. Mm -hmm. And there's no way that I can turn back the clock and redo them. Yeah. So all I try to do is do things differently. By doing them the exact same. <laughs> yes. And just hoping for different things yeah. out of it. I was just wondering if you regret, regret never having a family. Oh my God, Casey. Sometimes I do. But then what? But I had a lot of things that made it difficult for me to have a family and that family like a girlfriend at the time. Like prison? <laughs> like like the pedophilia in prison? Did that make yeah. it did that make it a little difficult? <laughs> Wait, a little, just a little couple mess ups, a little hiccups. He says you know. things standing in my way like we you know I was always on the road with my job and you know, I was on tour. I was on tour. Well, you know, I was I was locked away in prison for many years. Then when I got out I had the stigma of being a, a pedophile recognized from national television. So that's put a that's a wrench in my my family planning, guys. We got a couple donations. I gotta go over here. Um, Cody Viz with the bully comment: Lord should ski into a tree. That would hurt him. As a bully comment, thank you, Cody Viz, but still a bully comment. Please go buy Lauren's house. Polynomial purbred 
so that we should buy the property and open the Chris Hansen Charter School for journalism. And we do we do mock uh we do mock sting houses at Lawrence home every week. I think you <laughs> would buy with that. <laughs> um and then Eureka's mom sent, I think, a super sticker, but it doesn't show here. But I do appreciate that. Thank you. And then freelance Dom DeLita, RSO Palatophile, uh, go well with the nautical RSO Palatophile. You think that's that's the name? Is that where is that what we're talking about there? Um, freelance Dom DeLita, thank you for that. And then CJ, oh, said it's on Zillow for seventy thousand. Oh yeah, so CJ let us know that it's on Zillow. That's crazy. Thank you. And then Dan Dan, he's my man. Sloth, would you make an animation of the time Weenie said, Dan Dan, he is my man? Sure. All right. And then that should be the last thing you say for the rest of the stream, okay? All right, let's keep going. Thank you, everyone. Because of my train of thought that I was in, I thought I owed my siblings and thought I'd... Just because that's the way they made me feel. Well, and being an incel. Oh. Oh. I said it's also hard to have a kid when you're an incel. Or when you're an imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> when you're an income poop. That word's not coming out. I n c e l. Incel. Intel. Incel. I N C T E L. Holy fuck. Yeah. In cell. You know, cell. Like what you were in for five years? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Difficult to have anything in there. No, when you're an in cell. <laughs> when you are a. Incel. What is an incel? Oh my god, this is like a comedy. An incel is someone who's involuntarily celibate. Oh yeah, that's law. Oh, you understand? Oh, okay. I understand you're putting me down. <laughs> no, I mean it's involuntary. <laughs> Wouldn't you exactly agree you're, right. right now you're involuntarily celibate? More. Wouldn't you agree right that you are an incel? I wanted him to say it. I wanted that like a recording to use. I wouldn't agree that I'm involuntary because that's my own fault. What? <laughs> the answer is yes. What does that mean? How are you uh, not yeah. involuntarily celibate? You'd have sex with me right now if you could. Well, yeah, that's you true. Want so you want to be celibate? You don't want to have sex? No. No, he doesn't. All right. oh, no, I, so I, wouldn't I you be involuntarily <laughs> celibate? Wouldn't you be an yeah. incel? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've had the chance to get laid. When? After, oh. after I've been a, a couple different times. After I've been out of Bullshit. being incarcerated. Bullshit. Who? Hang on, Jamie. I, bull fucking know, shit. No like, way. Like, you, that's the way my mind was set from 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 my crime, from from what I did. It's been hard for me to to deal with that. The ladies are too old. How? Yeah, that's the only explanation is that they was too old. Like what is what does he mean? Yeah, that when, well, the explanation is it never happened because he would have told these stories before. Oh, and yeah, pretty sure he tells a story right here. That's I was completely saying, what if he made up like, a story yeah. on the spot. Yeah, exactly. But I'm <laughs> saying you would have heard this. It's so many years into this. We're just now hearing about these women throwing themselves. He would have brought this up to Ramona or Winnie or any of the other times he was being called a loser and being told that no one wants him. He would have said, oh, yeah, well, someone like this woman wanted to fuck. And I, that showed he wanted to fuck. She had that big old oily butt. And I told her no. Like, but he didn't say any of that because it didn't happen. I love that. Um, was from um, right now. I'm involuntary Zelda, but oh I was God. voluntary Zelda. Just say incel. It's easier to say incel. Okay, incel, incel, angel. Okay, what'd you say, Jamie? Just own it and be proud of your choices. Say I'm an incel, and I'm proud of that. Own it, you know, be powerful. 
I'm an incel and I'm proud of it. There you go. Oh my Yay, God. Yay. We got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Wow. Why was it hard? Because it is. To admit you're an incel? It's not that big a deal. So you're an incel. It doesn't matter. Do you like that show about the ponies? What? Um, um, Friendship is my magic. little... No, what's the one with the... Is then? it My Little Pony? Yeah, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Yeah. The Bronies. That's what the... I think incels watch. Yeah, Bronies. There we go. Yeah, I watched that documentary. It was pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> I may have seen that. Is it the guy with uh, Ash Big? Is... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, yeah, and like he travels for the first time and everything, so we can go to the convention. You know who else claims to be an incel? This dude says that he's like he's calls he says he is the king of the incels. Yeah. What? When he met, praise God every day. Stop jerking off. Stop jerking off. Stop jerking off. Stop. Stop jerking off. Yeah. Stop. He says he's an huh. incel. He says he can't get no no women. Well, maybe he's just... Well, Start jerking yeah. off? I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know if jerking off is the is the way to go if you want to get more women. <laughs> Put your mind a little bit or something. What the fuck's going on? Reborn, I talked to Reborn. And he said if you want women, you got to start masturbating yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make a new song that's just like that. Except start jerking off. <laughs> Step one, masturbate yourself. I'll let you know when I get to step two. <laughs> exactly. So you're involuntarily celibate. Incel. Lord. Jamie, why can you tell Rod Jamie. you have a boyfriend and then it's me? No, it's not her fault. It's, you just it's said it was. <clears throat> no, that's not what I said. You said if Janie was up there, you wouldn't be in cell. No, yeah, but it's not yeah. her fault. It was my choice. It was your choice, but if she was there, you just said if she was there, you would have had sex. How's that your because choice? Was, That's her choice. I didn't want to, because I decided I wasn't going to have any more one night stands. I was only going to have sex with somebody that I was in love with. No, that's sweet. Cool. Yeah. Romantic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's child. Jamie's fault that you're an incel. <laughs> or a child, one or the other. <laughs> oh, I not a times. Is that the national anthem playing? Have sex for love. When I first got back. I went to the bar with Paul, to a bar that I'd never been to before, and he'd been to all the time. And he had a friend. She, she was good looking. She was really good looking. Her name was Wendy. Oh my! What? Hold on. He can't even oh, think of a new name. name. <laughs> he can't even think of. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've met a he lot knows of people. Four names. I've met like two Wendy's in my life. I've known a lot of people. This dude, he's like he's known like seven or eight of them in that same town. Yeah, all Wendy's live in fucking Skowhagen. <laughs> Her name was Wendy. She showed a lot of interest in me. And I... Tony's Wendy. No, no, no. Hot no, Wendy. not Tony's Wendy. Hot Wendy. Tony's Wendy. No, no, no. Blonde one. No. With the big titties. <clears throat> yeah. It was Wendy Brandy. I was, I was in I was interested in her but I'm a pedophile. She gave me her phone number and everything. I just never called her. Why do you think she was interested? And how would that have been sex? Because she liked me. She liked the looks of me. <laughs> I like the looks of you. How do you know? Um, because she was sitting on the other side of Paul, and she told Paul to move so she could sit next to me. Well, that seals the deal right there. Yep. Then she took a cab to, with me. Mm -hmm. 
even though she lived in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay, I'm back. She took a cab with me. What's going on? So she took the cat with him so he could pay for the cat. Did she go Mm -hmm. to your place? Well, Well, she found out where I lived. (laughs) (laughs) Same thing. She found out where she lives so that later that night when she's touching herself, she could be thinking about being at his house. But she don't want to actually go there. So she obviously, she's recap right. She just <laughs> obviously she's, no, no. she's in a rush. Shouty wanna fuck. Exactly. Uh, well, fair enough. <laughs> Did she have an oily butt? <laughs> she of course she had an oily butt. She was out with Lorne. <laughs> but was it a Why big she had muffin though? Seats. No, no, it was not a. There was nothing big muffin about it, and she was not hot. But her butt, I can I can say her butt was very oily. Sexual techniques? No. Just no. oily ass. Just okay. oily, wet ass getting a free cab ride. Nope. Nope. No, she took the cab with me. She found out where I lived. She gave me her so phone number. And I, and I, because she specifically rode in the cab so she could ride with me. <laughs> Did she say that? She could have gone with a friend. Because she likes me. She when... didn't go in with you. No, she went to her house. Right. After the cab dropped me off, she had the cab take her to her house. She gave me her phone number, and I, I never called her. Right. Oh, I'd only God, been out of... Even pay for her cab. Well, what the hell was I going to pay for it with? I'd only been out of <laughs> prison for like three for days. I'd only been out of prison for like three days. This doesn't make much sense, no offense. What happened? I missed it. I don't know. I lost track of the whole... Now Lord's going to have to remember that story again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. Uh... It's a nice setup. She took a cab with a woman? Um, the woman that was interested in me at the bar mm-hmm. when I first got out, I went to the bar with Paul. Yeah. He had a friend there named Wendy, and she was interested in me. So, and you bagged her and tagged her? No. <laughs> I didn't. Lorne said this woman was into here. His clues were she sat beside him and took a cat ride to his place, but she didn't go in. <laughs> What a shitty recap! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me catch up with the dumb shit Lord said while you were away. <laughs> okay, now let's keep making fun of him. <laughs> so she shared a cab with you to go home? Yes. Yeah. Wow, she dude. Made she made my brother move so that she could sit next next to me. That's a one night stand. And talk to me while we're at the let's, bar. Let's just say he's right. Like that's the move. Like, hey, you move over there. I need to sit beside this guy. Well, well that's it. Well, Hillborn, what was his anger at Derek about with Kayla? Didn't he have one of her friends? Didn't he have one of her friends move so he could put his arm around her? That's you. You got a point there. So you're telling me that if Lauren would have put his arm around her, Paul would have been completely pissed off? Paul would have been okay with it because, well, one, Lauren's the alpha male. Uh, and the guy was, and Paul was letting this happen. Paul was serving it up easy style. Because uh, Shorty mm-hmm. wanted to fuck. Lauren just didn't want to close the deal. He could, he said this could have been a one night stand. That's the crazy part. Is like in his mind, <clears throat> the only reason it didn't come to sex is because he didn't initiate sex. This doesn't sound like a sexual encounter of any type. She didn't make moves or anything. She sat next to him and then rode in a cab with him. This is three days after he got out of prison. Was Where was he staying? Mall. He Which I think mall. he tells a story at one time where he says he doesn't go out and his mom tricked him into hanging out with Tony and Wendy for the first time. That was what? like... A that weekend. sounds like some taking abroad shit. 
Yeah. So he's so out anyway, of he's who... just he's fresh out of prison. Sorry, go ahead, sloth cat. I was just gonna say who decides to say, "Hey, my friend just got out of jail, out of prison, for mm-hmm. trying to sleep with a kid. Let's take him out to celebrate him being free." <laughs> yeah. They don't even go together. They don't even. Say- <laughs> maybe maybe one like this. Maybe he was like, "My brother's been in prison." She's like, "Ooh, mysterious." And then they started riding the cab. And he's like, "I want jail. So I caught in this thing." And she's like, "I'm gonna go home." Yeah. <laughs> what were you in for? He's like, "I don't want to talk about it." And she's like, "Oh, is he a murderer?" Maybe and she's like thinking all these like sexy things, and then he tells her he tried to have sex with her. He starts going on and on about perverted justice and Chris Hansen, and she's like, "I just want to go. I'm dry now. I want to go home." You yeah, like, could have been a could have been a one night stand. I do my hair or something. I could have had just so you know, I could have had sex with you, and I chose not to. Okay, have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said she had a cab with me, even though she didn't have to take a cab, she could have gone. With their friends. See? Having the cab, right? Then she gave me her phone number, too. Oh, so you called her later and had sex with her? No, I didn't call her at all. I have regrets on that one. Why didn't you call her? Because of the way that my mind was at the time. I, I had just gotten out of prison and and I wasn't sure how recognizable it would be to the public. And she was so Why was that? Turned her down. Yeah. Not the other way around, K. C. All right, well, Jamie's going to tell her own version of the story. Even though she weren't there, but okay. I weren't she there. Just like he did. Wasn't. But I wasn't sure how recognized I was going to be because being on the show, I had a... Mom's not as stupid as you think. I had a hard time even leaving the house for a while. Well, what do you mean? You said this this was three days after you got out of prison. You were at a bar. Yeah, I know. And so I you didn't have that much time. trouble leaving your house? You had to some time as shit. I, you know, I, I did because I was uncomfortable the whole time that I was at the bar. Wait, is, was he, he was allowed to go to bars? I I don't know. I thought he was never allowed to go to bars. Yeah, because he wasn't but he was allowed, allowed to drink. But no, he was allowed to drink at first. He just wasn't allowed to get drunk and show up to class. I thought he and wasn't that's where he screwed to, up. Because he was never allowed to go to karaoke bars again. From the, from the beginning, I thought he wasn't allowed to do that. So when was he able to go to a bar? I, 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 I think know. he was allowed. I, here's the thing is, Lauren didn't want to go socialize with people to talk about his charge, so he wouldn't go to places and he'd make excuses of, like, I can't go here. He wouldn't go to Tony's thing because there was going to be kids there. Because uh, eventually you find out the whole, like, face-to-face relationship. They're talking about friendships, not Relation- dating. Like, <clears throat> relationship, relationships. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Relationship. go and do something. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were like, go join a bowling league. Do you remember that? He's going to go to yeah. bowling. Yeah, or bingo. He's gonna go do bingo. Oh, that was the money. Bingo, bingo, ladies. There's an all pedophile bowling league out of Scout Hagen. They meet at the Burger King. Pedos and pins. They want to play. <laughs> <laughs> they play against pedo leagues from Waterville. We played, Lauren. We played teams as far away as Waterville. They're a good group of guys. Just don't bring them around, kids. That's my little joke. <laughs> we won the pedo main championship. <laughs> <laughs> then Lord quits. He quits just like he quit basketball. Then he gets shunned by them. Too. His bowling team. That's what he talks about for the next thirty years. <laughs> They're going to for the championship, and Lord quits. And Lord, you can't do this to us. I choose not to play. Get a flower to dirt. Oh, had had it been years before that, I would have. Is it because you had to ask to see her ID? No. I didn't even know much of the rules of probation then. They don't tell you the rules the second you get out? No, you get 48 hours to report to them. First 48? Yeah. Forensic file. (laughs) Well, you said this was the third day. 
Guys. Yeah, it's third day. That's How many hours are in a day? Uh, 24. Okay. It was the second day that I went to Bangor to report the probation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so you met the girl on the third day. That's 72 yeah. hours. Third, the third night, Paul wanted me to go out and have beer with him. So I did. <clears throat> So then you knew the rules. No, I didn't know the rules yet. Hmm. Well, you got the rules prior to going after the bar. No, it was, I went to probation to report to probation, and they didn't hear, they didn't give me anything there. Mm -hmm. They told me that my probation officer would come and see me at the end of that week, which is like the fifth or sixth day that I had already been out. What a coincidence. Well, what a yeah, coincidence. You went with your you went with Roy? That doesn't I I'm pretty sure they tell you they you don't they they don't just you're not free. You you don't get a forty eight hour free pass to do whatever they want, then they tell you the rules. Yeah, I've I mean, never been to prison. I'm not sure how it works, but well, that just, sounds correct. That doesn't even make any that doesn't <clears> make any sense. Like I've seen shows where people get released. And they tell them, like, right off the bat, like, Flothcat, when you got released, what did they tell you? Uh, they told me, you know, live life on the straight and narrow. You know, <laughs> stay away from um, guys with mustaches and stuff. So, But you saw your probation that? officer right away, though, right? Or did you have to wait a few days? Yeah, how'd that work? No, I saw him right away. Okay, then why did you not see your kids? Because you're a black father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't. Uh, Got him. I couldn't escape that. <laughs> oh, I gotta be dollars. what I am, baby. I gotta be what I am. I'm a black dad. I ain't seeing my kid. <laughs> uh, Blue boy, will you do the same? Will you say that, please? What do you want me to say? Repeat the line I just said. Repeat it, so I can repeat it. Yeah, go ahead. What did you say? I didn't hear it. I gotta do what I I gotta do what I am. I'm a, I'm just a black dad. I don't care about my kids. I gotta do what I am. I'm just a black dad. I don't care about my kids. He added to that. Oh, good God! <laughs> <laughs> Gilmore, That's what he said. Gilmore, your turn. <laughs> oh, hold on. I gotta go do something. Who do you go with? Oh, no, Paul. Uh, can I ask a question? All right, here's where it gets yeah. serious. It's a, it's a pretty serious question. I know, and I have an idea what it is. Wait, can you pause it real quick? Okay. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask yeah. you I both, what is your opinion of Lauren's stories, with what happened with his brother? Do you think it's true or false? So... I feel like, okay, obviously you can't say judge whether, but with the amount of times his story has changed and the fact that of all the things he could have brought up to Chris Hansen as his excuses for why he showed up to have sex with a child, he didn't bring that up. Instead, he brought up some bullshit, some trolling catfish stuff. You would think if that had really happened, he would have jumped to that excuse to say he actually knew when he was a victim himself, but he didn't do that. It didn't come out till later. And then the story changes. No, so, I don't believe him. I don't I, believe him at all. Yeah, I think he's an unreliable narrator. You can't <clears throat> believe anything he says unless there was someone else to confirm that this had happened. It's just like it could just be Lorne going for those sympathy points. Because I feel like it... if he Sorry. he wouldn't actually repeat that around the actual brother of like nobody else in his family. He won't really tell nobody mm. else that story. Now, is it worse to make up the story that you were molested or to be molested and then go try to do it to a child yourself? I, I think it's worse to make it up. Yeah, because he did the second part either way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So to make it up after that. Like, I, what sounds worse? I think like, if you, because if it, is, if it is true, that means he absolutely went through it and knows what the impact is and then made it a career choice to try and go do it to other children multiple mm -hmm. so he was in his own words he was the victim he was the the younger person who was preyed upon by someone in a position of power so as soon as he could he put himself in that position of power to go prey on 
children in vulnerable positions. Multiple times. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say it's worse. Yeah. So, anyway, um, and guys, we did get, before we get into this part, we did get one more donation. It was from Mike Bourne. I think it's uh, Reborn's cousin. And he said, Lawrence <laughs> Trailer is listed on Zillow for 69K. Yeah, we saw that. So, if anyone has $69,000, it's burning a hole in their pocket. <clears throat> please, uh, please see Noel. He is the listed real estate agent on the, on the, on the, uh, on the Yeah, give your money to Noel. Yeah. It's on <laughs> Remax. Turn out well, well for you. It's on Remax Zillow. too. Yeah, if you go to Zillow, you can schedule a video appointment, video chat. I'm appointment. doing it. You'll take a tour, guys. Yeah, um, guys, just PayPal Noel directly the money, and he'll yeah. email you. He'll email you the PDF deed. So you're good. <laughs> God, if we can pull our money together and get this, this might be better than per- oh, I don't know. I kind of want to have the land next door to him, though. That'd been fire. You know, I, honestly, yeah. After standing, would have been cheaper. It, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Right, yeah, we got back of- in the car, and it's like my skin was itchy. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cost weird. involved with that land because I mean, like, there's <laughs> shit all over it. You're, you're not going to just leave it there to rot, are you? I mm. would turn it into a museum. I mean, I could be, dude, I wish they would have done that to his apartment in yeah. Nashville. If they would have left it just like it was when he got arrested and just like did tours. So you can go see how Lord yeah. is living. Please don't touch anything in the apartment. We're trying to preserve it for. <laughs> <laughs> and like high, like junior high, high school kids who are in trouble, they have to go to our Lord's apartment. This is where you could live. This could be you. This could be you in 10 fucking years if you don't get your shit together. Now load up in the van. We're driving to Bowling Green. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> In your book, and in one of the questions, they asked you if you were ever sexually abused, and you said no. But then you also put that your brother sexually abused you. Is that true? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna tell you. I'll, I'll tell you both something that not many people know that I opened up to later on. Class about it. It took me a long time to be able to open up in class. So that's why when when you saw that answer of no, I wasn't. I didn't hadn't opened up yet. Oh. And that's something they that they expect because people don't. People have a hard time opening up right away. So what happened? Oh. <clears throat> when I was a little, well, Paul started in on me. His side, he he was able to whistle loud with his with his fingers. And when we lived at the first house in Cambridge, when we moved from from Cornville to Cambridge, well, Paul and Roy had shared the upstairs of the garage. They turned into a bedroom, and Paul had uh, into two bedrooms. Paul had one one room, and Roy had another. And when nobody was home. And it was just me and Paul there. Paul would whistle. He, he was older than me. I'm the youngest of the family. He was older than me. And that was my signal to go up to his room. He, and he fondled me. And he would make you do it to him? Yeah. How did he, like, phrase it? You should tell You should tell me if you like how how this feels. 
Yo, so hearing the emotion in this, it, it does make it kind of believable that maybe this happened. And, and I think it makes Lauren so much worse. I believed it when he told this story. So that means even with all the, like, so he's never cried at all for any of the victims, his victims that are out there, but he's, but he can cry for himself. So he knows the damage. Yeah. That's what and I'm he, saying. Like, sorry. No, please. No, like, how much this affects him, like, all these years later, and he still decided that he was going to go try to do it to, and, like, much worse to Kayla. Yeah. And not just Kayla. Like, you know, you know yeah. obviously others, others too. And then the, the actual girls that he was having these, quote-unquote, relationships with, that he was grooming. Um. Yeah, I'm, I mean... It, Egbert Mandingo said Lauren's stories seem to have holes. No, I agree. Uh, uh, let's keep listening. But I mean, I'm just hearing emotion that you don't. I don't normally hear from like the <clears> traditional <throat> Lauren lies. I'm not going to spoil. He does. He says some things later that kind of, yeah, also make me think like it's not true. But you'll. you'll well, see. that's the other thing too. Is we we say like if Lauren was smarter, he would be so much more dangerous. Uh, yeah, because he's he's not a great actor. He's not he's not great. He, he's personable, but he's not. He doesn't have a great personality, so I mean, it is it is it is reasonable to think he could he could make himself cry out of emotion. Maybe he is thinking about his victims, and that's what's making him cry. And he's putting him. You, you just never know. But um, if it if it did happen, I I just I think it makes Lauren that that much worse if it actually mm-hmm. did happen. And when we moved over the other house to the new house, he did it even more. There was even one time that we ever we had a rented well it was a loan car that my uncle was working on the car dealership. He loaned the car to mom so she could because her car was broke down. And mom and Lori were working on a shoe shop. There was, yeah, we had, me and Paul had to go to the dentist. The dentist was right down the road from the shoe shop. And there was an African in the car, and Paul put it up on the cover of the window. An African. That's what I thought he said. He did it to me again. He put Carl Weathering up there? Wait, so. Was it just these two times? This is what when he makes it sound like, but then he says it happened a lot. So, but it, it def, he definitely worded it there like it was twice. Then he did it again. See, mm-hmm. maybe he means like outside of the whistle call. I don't know. Um, and what a dangerous place to do that. Your mom. So, so your mom's inside the the whatever. So you block the window. How are you going to see if she's coming yeah, back to see, the car? Why we? Block I don't understand. So his. What about the other? They window? were going, to, but they were going to the dentist. So, where were his mom and his sister at? Were they in the shoe shop? He said they yeah. worked at a shoe shop. I don't know why that's relevant to the story, but it's so not. they were going to the dentist. But it's not like she was running into the like. It's not like she was at the store and she was like, "Wait in the yeah. car while I run in." Yeah, like you're going to the dentist. He, so I don't understand why was there a, or when would there have been a time where she would have been out of the car long enough for them to, you know, put up a blanket and start playing with each other. That doesn't make it. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. See, it's kind of weird. The other thing that rings in my head when I hear shit like this is from his psych eval. I don't know the exact wording, but it's like he's not a, a reliable narrator, yeah. whatever it is. So... Because the dude lies about everything. I, I know it's kind of hard to tell here, and I'm not saying he is or isn't, but he could be. Well, know. and also, you know, you have to consider that Lauren's been in this class hearing other people's stories for a exactly. long time. How hard would it be for him to absorb one of those? Yeah, definitely. But it would make sense. Well. 
why his teeth are so bad because he's avoiding the dentist because it what? brings out this memory. Oh you know what? I don't know if this is appropriate time for jokes, Blue Boy. It is. It's never <laughs> not an appropriate time for jokes. I'll joke about anything. That was me uh, just being humorous, something to do. <laughs> I like having fun. So did you ever tell your mother? No. I told my sister Lori. And what did she do? She didn't do anything. I was in my 30s when I told her. So then, how did it stop? Paul moved to California. So how old was Paul? Paul. Didn't Paul move out when he was like 17? I'm saying, so they were doing this up till Warren was like a 15 year old boy? Like, so weird. Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. See, like, it's, it, again, there's things that kind of don't add up. Like, is it possible that they, that they were both enjoying this stuff together and Lauren just feels guilty about it later? Possibly. Because they were, like, him and Paul were, were still cool, right? They still yeah, talk they, today. Was yeah. Paul the one that he was going to go drive to pick up because Paul didn't want to stay at his, at his place? I'm not sure on that one. I do know that Paul posted about Chris Hansen's charge or whatever. <laughs> on his <Facebook>. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Well, we should post this for Paul on Facebook. Like, oh, you want to make fun of Chris Hansen's charge? Well, here's Lauren saying he used to Lawrence touch Stein. his balls. That's crazy. Did he do it to Roy? He did. He did two other cousins. No, he didn't do it to Roy. Roy, Roy was older than Paul. Oh. He did it to other cousins. As well. Yeah. He did it to two other cousins that were my age. Actually, a year younger than me. And he said nothing. And he'd make you, like, touch his penis and suck on his penis? No, that he didn't do. So he just made you, like, touch it or, like, jerk him off? I don't know. Just, just touch. Oh. And he did it to you? He did it to me and two of my cousins. <coughs> and did he ever, like, just ask him if it was do it with his mouth to you? How would he know he, he did it to his cousins? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, that's a really, that's a really good point. If he didn't tell Lori until he was in his thirties, until she was in the third, how would he know that <clears> this <throat> was going on with his two cousins? Because he's also said he's never talked to Paul about it, so it's not like Paul was like, "Oh yeah, I used to do that too," with, with you know, Bunky and whatever. But and Lauren also doesn't talk to him, like his extended family, so I don't know how. That would have been something he would know. Maybe when he told, maybe when he told Lori, Lori had heard about it from the cousins or something. <clears throat> and it was kind of like a family, a dirty family secret that no one talked about. Hmm. Possibly. Yeah. Touch him, and he would touch you. Yeah. Something I've never told anybody. Well, I'm sorry. And, it, and it's that stuff too. Yeah. Is when he constantly has to remind you, like I've never told anyone this before. Like he's using it to get good boy points. Yeah, yeah. It's that. It's the this is closeness, and instead yeah. of instead of what would be just sharing a traumatic experience because you're you're talking about something, he wants to remind you yeah. that you know. Yeah. Th- these are these, these are earning me boyfriend points because I'm sharing something that I've never shared with anyone else. That he's shared with literally everyone else. We've heard it. He's told Ramona, Winnie, and you know, he just never went into this, into this this detail of it. Like this is the most no. detail I've heard it. But I mean, and and again, <clears throat> like 
whatever, not trying to discount if it if it did have whether it happened or not. Like, like I still stand by it. If it did happen, it makes Florida a much worse person. But I, we got a couple donations we got to get through real quick, guys. Uh, Egbert Mandingo wants to know: Are we ignoring that Blue Boy and Winnie's boyfriend or her husband are never in the same stream or room at the same time? You found me out. Yeah, I am Winnie's boyfriend slash husband. Yeah. So, um, and then Sting. <clears throat> said, uh, thank you, Egbert Mandingo. And thank Sting you, sir. Said, I don't believe him. He has given me no reason to believe him. Even if some version of this happened, I don't care. It makes him worse. And I think we, thank you. Yeah, we can agree on that. Like if this did happen. You know, fuck him for then going and trying to victimize other people. It makes you it makes you worse because instead of being an advocate for people who have gone through, you're going out and perpetrating that same shit. There's yeah, no- either way, he's a piece of shit because either he's making up this crazy story about being sexually assaulted to get sympathy, or he's been sexually assaulted and he still went and tried to do that to several and, kids, and then still says that he did nothing wrong. Yeah. And that, that there was nothing wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't want to be there. But you lived through this. You went through this, and then you sexualized a child. Just that right there, that tells you you did something wrong. Mm-hmm. Going there would have just put you over. But how do you not realize that just that conversation was someone you thought was a child, and you're counting down days to to sex and taking pictures of your dick inside as you commit statutory rape? How is how is that? How was that not enough for you to say, yeah, I fucked up, I have an issue? But anyway, yeah. Punk Tansy, um, speaking as a CSA victim. Hold on, hold on. Sloth needs to read it in her voice. Okay. Speaking as a... <laughs> hold on. Oh, it's like I, don't he's here with us. Read... I don't think you can read that, that this one that way, Sloth. That's true, actually. I just yeah, 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 yeah okay. I just, yeah, I, yeah, okay. Speaking <laughs> as a CSA victim, there's no way Lauren is telling the truth my bet is he heard the phrase, the abuse can become the abuser, and ran with it. I think he may have even used a TV show or movie plot. Yeah, I don't think he needs to do that. I think he has his class right there, and those are going to be mantras that they that they probably use in class. They, they teach them that just because you are abused doesn't mean you can become the abuser, or the likelihood of the abuser. Like, people who are abused as children are more likely to grow up and abuse their own children, right? So they try and teach them to break these cycles. So, so Lorne has heard these things, but he doesn't absorb any of it because it doesn't apply to him. He's admitted because... to hearing these stories on the news before, well, right? Yeah, and, like, of, jerking of, off to him? Only if they're about women. They're about women, not about boys. Yeah, but he could have just taken that and spun it around, I guess. I I really feel like if, if this isn't something that really happened, it's something he pulled from someone from class or an example used in class. And he's if just he trying... makes... Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm always, I'm always talking at the wrong times. Um... If he if he were to make it up, would he make up like his brother doing it? You think though, because he's so anti-gay. Well, who else? Yeah. Good point. Lori. Lori is the only other option. I mean, you could say like a babysitter or something. I mean, he's making up a story. You can say whoever he wants. I, yeah, but I, maybe I don't know. I don't his know. Brothers babysat him. Didn't I think he? if he, he might think if it, if it's babysitter, yeah, who was who was I know, but I'm just saying, wife never brought this up. If you're making up a fake story, you can you don't have to. It doesn't have to be based in any sort of reality. You can say it was any woman. Yeah, I mean that's true. I don't know. It's a good point. That's what I'm saying I don't think he'd make up a man. Yeah, no, I mean that's that's a really that's a really fair point. Well, can I tell you guys that um, to get close to the robot, he told her a, a deep, dark secret as well. What was that? What was that it? he cooms in the toilet sometimes. <laughs> he told Casey that too. Yeah, uh, that's, a, <laughs> it's a good, that's a good deep, dark secret. Yeah, I haven't told anyone like... that before. <laughs> Come in the toilet. You can do that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been wasting condoms like an idiot over here. Oh, I can just do it. You don't, you don't yeah, rinse yours out and hang yeah. up to dry? Yeah. 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 kind of expensive, you know? <laughs> You can use it like ten times. I think I've been cutting a tip and uh, the cutting the tip oh, off God. and put them in this in this penis pouch. Pack guys, pouch. guys, let me tell you, <laughs> once you get a pack of pouch. All right, let's <laughs> let's listen to the rest of this uh, awful awful business. What got it? There's a, there's another one. What? No. 
Richard had gotten a, a blowjob from some girl when he was when he was fourteen. What? Like a little girl? Oh. No, like you know, one of his friends. Okay. I don't understand what the yeah. I'm he'll gonna, he'll explain the, it to you. <laughs> he came back. He came back to the house, and it was just me and him there. And he, and he told me to pull, pull my pants down that he wanted to show me something. I, I told him, no, I didn't want to pull my pants down. He said, just pull them down. He said, I'm going to show you something. So I did. And then he started sucking on my dick. And this was Richard, right? He said? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and Richard's I only a year older than him, correct? Something like that. Let's see. So it doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. I feel like at thirteen, if like your brother's like, pull your pants, I don't want to show you something. That's like what. That's just. He did cry to Ramon about this one. Did he? Mm-hmm. Where was Mama Dale with my dick down? Richard broke. Is what he oh, said. Oh, I remember like that. that. But like, okay, so again, that sounds. It sounds more voluntary than, right? Yeah, like he came in and said, "Rip him down." He's like, "Nah." And he goes, "Just rip him down." He goes, "Okay." Three, and, and then he older. just okay. forced so, uh, uh, because he was ten or eleven. Right? Can, I was just trying to think. Like, go ahead. Sorry, I'm just. I'm just. The story oh. is his brother got a blowjob and was like, "You need to feel this, bro." Yeah, that doesn't even make sense, really. Why would he get a blowjob and want right. to come there and give him a yeah, blowjob? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's why I feel happen. like if this story's true, it was like reversed. I feel like he made Lauren give him one because yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why would you go? Do yeah, that, it? yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I just, I just don't. Yeah, all right. And what happened? I pulled my pants back up. And I left. The room, the house, the state. And what does he say to you? Like, don't tell mom or you're going to get in trouble or what? Like, why didn't you tell? He just asked me not not to tell anybody about it. How old are you? I was like 12. He, He had just turned 14. Wow. He explained to me why he, uh, why he did it because he wanted me to to feel what he felt when he got the blowjob from the girl. That doesn't make any sense. I told him, I said, Richard, you're not a girl. Huh? How did your penis get hard? <laughs> he told him. No, I'm, I'm, I know, I know. No, sorry. that's a genuine. No, I understand. I know. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm asking genuinely. How did your, pe- how did your twelve year old penis get hard for your four- just newly fourteen year old brother, who told you to pull your pants down so he could, so he could go down on you? How did that happen? And he Unless told Richard was... that he's not a girl. So was he? Did he say that to him before, before or after, or, or, after or exactly. like when would you say that to him? Yeah. So he said uh, he said he he wanted him to feel what he felt from the girl, and then after Lauren said you're not a girl. No, I think if this, uh, yeah, yeah, I think if this actually did happen, it was like probably the other way around, or yeah, mm-hmm. it was a it was a mutual thing between between two brothers. I mean, Cornville is very boring. I'm just saying, like, it if it, <laughs> it it could have happened, it could have happened, and it, and it could have just been something something between between brothers that they were doing because you know that shit happens. Yeah, it's backwoods fucking Cornville. I can see this happening. Oh I've my. never told anybody that. Yeah, say it one more time. 
except glass. Motor. Look how the TV's Did on. Did you ever confront him about any of this? No. So to this day, you've never <laughs> talked to him? Nope. Never talked to him about it. I just wanted it out of my head. So I want all of it out of my head. So you should probably come to terms with your own pedophilia, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, Scampy. Again, um, I don't buy it. No 12-year-old dude is going to pull his pants down because the other bro brother told him to. I had two older brothers. Right. And if they told me to do anything, I was skeptical as shit. They were older brothers. They fuck with you. You think, yeah, you're like, he's going to punch you in the dick or something. Exactly. <laughs> my brother told me, like, if he told me to stand up and close my eyes, I will be sure I was going to get punched in the dick or uppercut it in the stomach. Something was going to happen painful. Not you my ever dick have a Hertz donut? donut? Yeah, right. What's a Hertz donut? <laughs> then you get punched. He goes, Hertz donut. And, and you're like, it's not a bunky. So, yeah, that, that, that is, I, I would be very skeptical. I would be, I would be sure that I was about to get hurt or embarrassed in some way. It wouldn't be leading to anything else. No fucking way. All, all the tears for Lorne. All right, I'm back. Okay. So do you talk to this brother still? I talk to all of them. I've been able to shut it out and, and not think about things. I hate thinking about it. So your mom doesn't know to this day either? She doesn't know to this day. And it's not something that I ever want her to know. So the cousins know. So it happened to the cousins. It happened to Lorne. He knows it happened to the cousins. They know what happened to him, but his mom never found out. I guess. They yeah, never made sure. it. I know Roy knows something about this. Not I don't know specifically what, but I do remember there's a call where like Roy's drunk, you know, but like, I know you told me what he did to you, brother. Something did like he? That. Something like that, yeah. I remember hearing him say that. That may have been a robot call. Something hasn't been released yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Yeah, because there's a point where like Roy was trying to live in the in the what is it called the metal shed he calls it, um, and they would argue all the time. And like the robot would be like, "Be nice to your brother, you piece of shit," and then. He he mumbles something about like I know I remember what you told me what they did or something like that. So like, oh, I don't want to talk about that, Roy. Oh, long fast fuse says that it, that's already out there. Oh, so there you go. Maybe it wasn't a robot. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't remember that. She said a hard enough life. She doesn't need. Doesn't need for it to be any harder. You made it harder, bitch, by doing this. What I you heard did. she was raised during the Great Depression. Yeah. Did you just say I heard she was raised during the Great Depression? What? 
<laughs> you're doing your mama jokes. He's not even. <laughs> <laughs> and so she had a hard life. And how did Lauren make it better? First, he ripped off a woman in the small ass town where everyone would know, and it's going to come back at her. You're in the people are going to judge you because of the kids that you raise, especially in a place like well, this. And so then Lauren got, takes money from her all the time. Well, I'm saying she, she's not only does she have drunks. Uh, just drunks and losers for children, but there was that one who went off and got himself famous for being a pedophile. He ripped yeah. a lady off. That's that's fled how he helped. Him. <clears throat> What's that? I said he ripped an old lady off, fled the state, <laughs> then swiftly was arrested for eating a child. Oh, he'll show you. He'll show you when he's a big star that he's on. That he's on the catch of Predator. Like, so, yes, Lord, if your mom had a, a, a rough life, you have not made it any easier. You continue to make it bad. You, when you're eating your fucking sweets. <laughs> I was out drinking when you was eating your sweets. You Lock your window, Ma. I don't need to. I've got a real man. <laughs> <laughs> Kick his ass out. Oh, I don't need to. I got a real man. Brother, brothers. Is he? Is he the? He's not the oldest. He's one older than you. Rich is next to me. Oh. I'm the youngest, and it's Richard, then Paul, and Roy, then Ralph, then Maury. Gotcha. Made me mad when I told Lori about it. She was abused by my dad. What? They just or everyone's just making love to each other in this family. Why would you say that though? Like that's not uh, any, I don't anyone's know. business. <laughs> no, by my father. Lori was the oldest. Uh, yeah, why would he tell this story? <laughs> None of. I just it's remember my, with her. I, I just remember why he even telling all these stories. <laughs> he was on the verge of getting kicked out the throuple. <laughs> yes, and then he walked all the way to all of this hey. to get sympathy. Well, we were gonna break up with you, Lauren, but now that you said yeah, all now this, that we know that. <laughs> well, that, the 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 crazy part is so if if all of these things really did happen. And Lauren's sitting in the class not contributing to anything. Does he really not understand why he never got out of that class? Like, you're, this is all, these are all horrible, traumatic things. Blue like, Blue Boy? That wasn't me. Yeah. Well, Carl Weathering, shut the fuck up. You can talk to us uh, when, when we're off. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, we, got, we got a donation from uh, from James Marr. It's a super a super sticker, but we can't see it. So I'm just going to say it says Trump 2024. Uh, thank you, James Marr. And then Egbert Mandingo with another donation said Reborn. Reborn. I like that one. Uh, re- reborn. Uh, Blue Boy West and Sloth uh, equals super team. I say yes. I say you get rid of Reborn. And Blue Boy. And then, yeah, I think we have ourselves a, a super team after the pay-per-view. Thank you, uh, Abraham Mandingo. And Anna O'Rourke uh, with a cult said the Just Us League. Very nice. Thank you. And then Punk Pansy. But accusing a male does add to his homophobia, which which is true. So uh, you just never know. Like, that's the, and that's the fucked up part is that you're listening to someone tell the story. And if it were, if it was anyone, but you just know Lauren, you just know Lauren's history. And all of his yeah. lies, and that's that's what you, that's the debt you pay when you live your life the way that Lauren does. When you can't be trusted with anything you say, if you lie about all the little things, who's going to believe you about the big things like this? Mm-hmm. And I couldn't imagine telling a story like this, and 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 you're crying, and people are listening to you, going, "Yeah, but you know," and then they're coming up with all the other reasons why you lie, and you have no one to thank for that but yourself. Um, Wes, I have a question. Yeah, why didn't you tell everyone in the chat that you have a super <laughs> team and it's with me? You had time. You had time. You had time, Wes. You had time. You could have told him. Why won't you tell him? Never come out and told me exactly. I guess he used to find the word as far as I know, and I don't know what else he did. 
but she he used to keep her home from school. Dale or her dad? The his real dad. Okay. But I was I was two when my father left. I didn't see him again until I was twenty one. Well actually I saw him when I was eleven. In the monk room. For like fifteen minutes. What happened kid. then? We went over to my grandmother's house. Me and mom and Lori and Richard. And Lori was going to go over and say hello to dad and his wife. Why did Lori want to? Yeah, exactly. And exactly. Richard was going to go, went with her, was going to go with her. And I didn't want to go at first, but because Lori went, was going, I, I went. And I guess I clung to Lori's leg the whole time. The monk. You mean monk? You did what? I clung to Lori's leg the whole time. He says, I guess I clung to her leg the whole time. Like, so is this not a memory of his? He was just told he did this? Yeah, well, he was he's only 11. He doesn't remember back then. <laughs> so then when he was crying to Ramona about this story, it wasn't even like a memory he had. It was just something that someone had said. Like, when you were younger, you, you munkled to your sister. That's a great call. I munkled onto a fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> I munkled onto a leg. The fucking, he couldn't even get me a loaf of fucking bread. Well, maybe I didn't want to go there. Maybe he thought you were living gluten free. Yo, yo, you fucking get <laughs> Maybe he thought you were gluten intolerant. <laughs> when wow. the point of time when he was supposed to be living next door to his father? Yeah, he said he lived next yeah. door to his dad. And, and his dad couldn't even get him like a quart of milk or whatever. Like, he, loaf of bread. fucking bread. I had to bring the goddamn beers. Yeah, he had to buy the. He had, him and his brothers had to buy the beers. So you're sitting down pounding beers with your dad. Man, that's horrible. Where does your mom know about what he did to Lori? She does, because Lori told her. And but she Lori still. Didn't, Lori didn't tell her for a long time. Mom didn't know what she could do. By the time Lori told mom, Lori was already an adult. What if he's around other kids still? Didn't he go and have kids? No, that was Dale. Yeah, Dale had kids with Roy's wife. Yeah. Nobody's off limits in this family. But Paul was able to go and do whatever he wanted to other kids. If that's true. Well, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. And your mother did nothing after that. No, oh, no. She couldn't do anything. Lori was an adult. If anybody did anything, it would have to be Lori. Lori chose not to do anything. I mean, y'all could have whooped his ass. I mean, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Go beat the shit out of him. She never understood that. You could have confronted him about it, Lori. Wait. Lauren doesn't under- understand why she waited so long, but he hasn't told his mother. Well, you see, I... <laughs> Lauren. It's, uh, oh, so she she doesn't have to, but I have to. She lives in the future. That's true. So in the future, maybe she already did. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That, that does. Yeah, that also doesn't make sense. Yeah, I never understood that, but. At any at any point, Lauren could have confronted this man, right? What? Did you, why did yeah. you do this? Like, we know that you did it. You're a piece of shit. You're, you should be ashamed of yourself. We know, but they just chose not to do that. I mean, Lauren, you yourself are a are a pedo. You should you should be very upset with. You should call this man and and tell him what you learned in your class and the damage you did to your sister. Uh, you should be outraged. I mean, I would think that he would call everybody out who did anything Fuck, what are you to eating? him as a food. What are you, did, what are you eating? You have a pop tart in your mouth. He got he he got Popeyes. He got Popeyes. <laughs> Pop, now see that's very really racist. Okay, what, no, is it's it? not chicken. It was an orange. <laughs> I eat healthy. <laughs> but you put an orange in your mouth and then decided to start talking. Look, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he thought the stream used some vitamin C. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? It was an emergency. I really need it. 
fruit, <laughs> fruit juice. We weren't, weren't drinking. It was fruit juice. I fucking love fruit. <laughs> I pre look. I pre peeled those oranges before the stream. I, get a little, get a little, a little line of oranges. A cutie <laughs> yes, it's like a little league kid fucking baseball game. <laughs> Some cuties That's in the spring. Baggy cheese. orange. Let me know if you need help with that Capri Sun. I can show you a way to poke it to the bottom. <laughs> You're really going to like that. I forgot what I was saying. You guys are on. You, what were you saying? What you, you were saying, how you, en- you were eating while you were talking. No, you said what you were saying. You already said it. I let you say it, and then I, then I called you out. Thank I think you were doing an ad for uh, oranges. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> Thinking, so. And they still don't love you, Lauren. That's the problem. So do two, I'd open up to you. Again, there has yeah. to fucking yeah. find it out. That was hard. Which makes it weird again, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I go through that. Oh, we shouldn't. So it kind of makes him buying the short shorts and shit like that for his nieces a little more suspect, too, right? Yeah. Uh, if there was already all these familial connections with people doing things to each other and experimenting with each other, whether it was welcomed or unwelcomed, and then him telling Kayla how proud he was when his nieces asked them him permission permission to buy those short shorts, it just it all seems very suspect. Yeah. I mean that was weird on its own, but now it's weirder. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you, thank you for for streaming, Blue Boy. That was a that was. I mean, it was a really good call. Uh, I mean, I know it didn't end as a uh, as, as comically as it started, but I feel like that that just great context to to Lorne and everything you know going on with that dude. Um, and the fact that you have to question if he's telling the truth or not, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what a what a life. Um, we did get two more donations um i got a request for the goodbye song as a palate cleanser you egbert i got you i got you not only it's not the good it's the goodbye 2023 the guy came back he's he, he's not gone oh, he did he did oh, it just man. came out two weeks ago actually oh, so man. we have the new updated goodbye which is like it's bad because you know like dude come on it was a long time ago and you're still trying to capitalize off that one song <laughs> Uh, it's it's sad. It's sad. Not in a good way. Uh, and then, um, so thank you, Egbert Mandingo, and then DSP Historical Society. You've been watching your Jorn videos to learn some game. If you want to learn some game, um, that, that's the way to start. And we're we're going to do the Emily chat log in this July. If you guys didn't hear Hillborn's troll of uh, Jorn, it's my favorite Jorn content that that there is. Shit's hilarious. Um, which is funny because c- it came from Hillborn. You know what I'm saying, Hillborn, right? I was <laughs> waiting for it. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a nice the, the, the the compliment and the, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, because you're kind of not funny, but no, I love it. It's really, it's really good shit. Uh, what did you think of the call, uh, Sloth Cat? It's a pretty good call. Pretty mm-hmm. good. Calm down. Uh, yeah, I, 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 agree. <laughs> I agree. I just don't know why he would want to keep doing these, uh, these, these thruple calls. Like they're awful. <laughs> they're awful. That would like he would have got off the phone feeling so. Why even want to? I would avoid calls with them out at that point. I would never want to get on the phone with them again. You would no. think. Uh, and then Octopushy said the Blue Boy Cartel uh, shout out. Blue Boy Cartel, shout out to Octopushy and Silent Rick. Thanks for stopping by and respect the blue hole. Respect the blue hole, okay? Um, so Sunday, Sundays with Cod? Yeah, it should be at the same normal time. Uh, preview is that uh, Jamie's been playing too much Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> he... like... Go ahead, go ahead. No, just th- this call is ridiculous. This is the one that we're doing on Sunday. Yeah, I don't like hyping calls because I don't, you know, really whatever. But uh, this one's pretty good. 
This one's his oh. jealousy just knows no bounds. I can't wait. That's gonna be good. Sloth Cat, you got a new animation coming out tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, guys, support Sloth Cat. His uh, Patreon is linked in the description. Go ahead and give your sign offs, everybody, and we're gonna close out with this uh, with this well, goodbye. Hopefully, the crowd moves this time in your video, Sloth Cat. Yeah, oh, I, I'm, I'm not putting the crowd in it. So, <laughs> not, 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 after this, not after the scathing <laughs> review. <laughs> Nah, nah, after that, I, I'm caught up now, so I can't like, I just can't do it again. I'm caught up now, so. Um, all right, Sloth Cat, give him that stupid gulla gulla thing that you do. Really all cool. up in you, like Ben ya, Ben ya, mm-hmm. and we ain't talking gulla gulla. All right, go ahead, Black Boy. I already did mine, but I'll do it again. Um, shout out to Octopushy and Silent Rick. Um, thanks for stop by. And respect the blue hole. Gola Gola. <laughs> and then they go ahead it's, and getting, it's getting real long. <laughs> and then, and then Hillboard, go ahead with your... Uh, with your uh, I'm not allowed to. I'm in a uh, legal battle over Rhythm of Reborn, so I'm going to have a sign up right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of that sooner or later. Uh, but, you want right, to we'll, say mine? No, I'm all right. Um, <laughs> let's just watch 30 seconds of Joran's brother. before His new video that just came out two days ago. Before before what? we close out. Yes, he just released... <laughs> released it's a song. It's a song. We're going to play 30 seconds and oh, we're going to close out with, uh, with goodbye. The following announcement has been paid for by the Lorne World Order. Again, I'm, I got yeah, run that back. Real quick. <laughs> I, 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 I like, couldn't even process what I was looking. I knew the all right. I'll play. I'll play. We'll play it again. I'm gonna, ready. Pay attention this time, and then listen to the lyrics. They really, they really speak to me. The following announcement has been paid for by the Lauren World Order. Yeah, we gotta watch this part. Here we go. Hit him. Hit him with it, Brian. What you think of the cost of ass whole music of catalog? I was like, oh, I was like, oh. what a ship of us. Oh, I, I still like, like. Sorry, go ahead. I still like that it's listed as a kids' channel, so I never know when a new video comes out. I just have to check. <laughs> I like those sweeping camera movements. Really good. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He's an amazing. He's a very Whoa. talented he's man. Coming. Kind of looks like Grandpa Stan's son. <laughs> Blue, Blue Boy is stunned. Yo, this is a Tim and Eric level talented man. Like he really mm-hmm. could have been on awesome yeah. show back in the day. Yeah, I would like to see some Tim and Eric visuals over that song. I think it'd be like, <laughs> like, little man dancing on his head. Casey and, his, Casey and his brother. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I will be back on Saturday with Nuggies and Kim shitty bully we are doing a jesse stream for the first time in a really long time so if i don't see you then uh sleep well and so my eight haters i only have two words for you role playing chat room the following announcement has been paid for by the lauren world order you guys sponsor everything hey hey 
just wanna say. Wanna say. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like he's in on it. <laughs> goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. This is nice. I like that. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Now I've made some change in my life. Now I move on in life. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hate on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Proceeding announcement was paid for by the local.